सो हे गाइस वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल डेवलपर्स कॉर्नर आई होप यू ऑल गाइस आर फाइन एंड लर्निंग अलाउड सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट ए न्यू प्रोजेक्ट एलएमएस प्लस जॉब पोर्टल दिस प्रोजेक्ट विल बी बेस्ड ऑन नेक्स्ट जेएस ओके एंड दीस आर द सम मॉड्यूल्स ऑफ दिस प्रोजेक्ट सो लेट्स टॉक अबाउट द प्री रिक्वेस्ट ऑफ दिस प्रोजेक्ट सो फॉर दिस प्रोजेक्ट यू शुड हैव नॉलेज ऑफ एचटीएमएल CSS, JS, React JS, Node, Express, and MongoDB. So these are the prerequisites for this project. So let's have a look on the modules of our project. So we will cover each and every module in depth. So this is our first module, which is tutorial and category skirt. So here, like W3 School. we will create our own tutorials then we have project and category skirt so here whatever project we will cover we will we can create like some documentation regarding that and we can provide to users then we will cover authentications and other methods like google login github login facebook login so these type of authentications we are going to cover in this project then we have some popular topics and their curve we will cover newsletters and mailing functionality then we have videos like if we have some videos then we can post them on this learning management system then book a session with us for example if someone want to book a session with us then he or she can book a session with us with the help of this module then we have documentations if you guys have seen digital ocean then we will cover documentation like that then we have contact us module so from here we will get query from users then we have payment gateway integration for course enrollments asset sales then we have problems card q and a's like stack overflow then we have a blog section then we have job portal so we will cover job card then job how you can apply jobs how you can get the reply and all then we have a option work with us like if someone want to work with us then this module is for that then we have courses and categories card okay i think this i covered before so now let's focus on how you can create a next step so press escape let's go to next js documentation open this link and here you will get automatic setup so i am going to use npx create next app and if you want to use uh, yarn and npm then you guys can install yarn and npm in your system and then you can use yarn and npm also so i am going to use npx create next app let's copy this command open terminal and paste it here so when you type it and press enter then it will ask you for the app name so for example i am giving lms lms underscore job portal press enter then it will ask would you like to use typescript so for now i am giving no would you like to use eslint no would you like to use jarvis css yes and would you like to use src slash directory for currently i am giving no no and here you have to press enter and then it will create a next step for you so let's see how much time it will take okay so you guys can see our next step is created now close the terminal and open it with vs code okay now press control plus backtick and write npm run dev so when you write npm run dev you guys will get started server on 
localhost 3000 okay so let's move to localhost 3000 and here you guys can see our react tab is successfully created and running on the port 3000 so let's see how you can create a different page go to pages here create a file about dot js okay now you guys what you can do okay so here we will do export default function about and here we will write um, let it be let's make a simple page h1 about page now save it and if you go to slash about um, where is that h1 oh sorry i forgot to return to return h1 so here you are getting about page okay so what's the difference between our react app and next app so you as you guys can can see i have not done any routing okay so if you use react then you have to use an external package react router dom to create routing for your app but in next.js app you are getting inbuilt routing okay and for example if you guys want to do some seo in react.js then there you have to use react helmet but in next you are getting this functionality inbuilt okay so the next thing is how you can create your styles in next step for example i have already a global.css if i create a class here dot red and i am giving color it to red now go to about.js and here class red let's wrap it in main main and give h1 here so here you are getting your styles applied so hey guys welcome back to my channel developers corner i hope you all guys are fine and learning a lot this is the part 3 of lms job portal so in this video what we are going to do is we are going to work on our user model so these are the some functionalities of our user model or you can say authentication let's say we have registered a user so these are the fields in our user model then we have login functionality then we will do some authentication like google login facebook login something forgot password reset password block and block a user reset password email user deletion update a user or you can say update user profile create roles like admin can create roles get all users then we have auth middleware is admin middleware is instructor middleware so let's start so first of all what you have to do is you have to create a folder let's say lms underscore mm, lms underscore backend i am giving a simple name let's open it with vs code open with code then what you have to do is let's open the terminal here and create npm init press enter press enter enter let's say give the description lms plus job portal job portal backend using node express mongodb mongodb by let's say or let it then entry point will index.js trash command no command keywords one 
authentication that's the other name developers corner okay so this is how you have to do npm init now in next phase what we will do we will install some packages like npm i express mongoose dot env mm, bcrypt okay bcrypt we need dot env we need mongoose course okay i think that's it so these are the some packages that we need to install when i forgot npmi body parser body parser then after that we need to install a their dependency save test there which is normal normal okay that it be installed now move to package.json here we have to write some scripts let's say first one is start when someone do npm start then we need to run this otherwise if someone do dev and then node mod index.js okay so these all are the settings or you can see configurations you have to do in your package.json to use node mod now let's create a file index.js index.js inside your index.js what you have to do let's import const express is equal to require express and save it then after that const app equal to express app equal to express and good now let's say let's create a port so const port equal to process dot env dot port otherwise 5000 now app dot listen our app will listen on the port then log take tactics in use template literals the server is running at https slash or not https slash slash localhost then dollar port dollar port save it now run npm run there so here you guys can see here we are getting server is running at http localhost 5000 let's create a route app dot get let's say on route request response then it will give response dot send let's say hello from lms job portal server and send now let's follow link so here you are getting hello from lms job portal server okay so this is how you can create your server using express now let's say what we need to do create a let it be for some time create a dot env file dot env file now inside this dot env we will store let's say port is 4000 by default now go to dex.js and here const 
dot env to use this dot env file we need to some we need to do dot env is equal to require what package we need dot env package now dot config and call it so now you guys can see here we are getting server is running at http localhost 4000 if i remove this process.env now server is running at http localhost 5000 okay now let's go to .env here we have to store mongodb mongodb underscore uri okay mongodb underscore uri let's open mongodb compass sorry guys actually i'm suffering from cold okay so here you have to pass your stream let's make it to 127.0.0.1 and after that you have to provide your database name okay this is done now let's create a folder which is config inside config folder you have to create a file db connect dot js db connect dot js now import const mongoose is equal to require which package mongoose then create a function const db connect is equal to db connect is equal to add a function inside this we will use try and catch pass error and console dot error console dot error and here you have to pass the error now inside right you have to give const connection equal to const connection equal to mongoose dot connect mongoose dot connect and pass process dot env dot mongodb underscore uri this mongodb underscore ui uri is coming from here okay clear till now now let's move to index.js oh i forgot to export it so module dot exports equal to db connect now come to index.js here let's say db connect and call it okay db connect and call it i think it's not working let me check go to db connect.js const db connect okay oh sorry i forgot to log let's say database connected successfully and if you pass connection here connection then you will get something like this okay Ending from connection dot then data if I log data here let's see what I will get see this is something you will get in your connection let's go up it's too much okay connection see here is our database name lms is here is our host here is our port okay let's say connections okay data to connections okay so now we don't need this 
Remove till here. So here we have to simply log that database connected successfully. Now let's check the terminal. Go down. So here you are getting database connected successfully. Okay. Okay, this is also done. Now, what we have to do? Let's create the folder structure for our app. So, one, we have to create middlewares. So, here we will create our middlewares like auth middleware, like is admin middleware, is instructor middleware. Okay, then we need routes, routes controllers and models okay controller model routes and we have index.js and utils okay and there is one more folder which is public okay now First of all, what we are going to do is we are going to create a model named let's say create the direct file user model.js. Okay. Now let's start creating user model. MDB generate user model. So this is our user model. Let's change it to net. Remove this and remove this. This is also not needed. Now let's check the fields. So we need first name, last name, email. Okay. So first name type string required through. Okay, then mm, I am not getting intelligence. Okay, good. So, first name we need, then last name, side last name, pass this. Okay. After that, we have email. Email unit will be true. Okay. Index. True. Index true. Then I think mobile. We can. Yeah, mobile we can. This also index true. Now we have password. Okay, let's say first name, last name, email. Okay, after last name, take user underscore image. Type will be string, or you can take. Let's say type will be string. One minute, guys. Okay. User image. It's for now, it will be string. Future we will change accordingly. And Default it will be blank now. Let's move to user images and copy one images. Let's say we have. Mm 
Let's check this. Okay. So copy image address and pass it here. Now, okay, we have user image, first name, last name, email, mobile, password. Close this. User role. Let's say roles. Roles. Inside role, we have type string type will be string default it will be let's say user okay default it will be user after that we have is blocked so is blocked will be type Boolean type Boolean comma default will be false. Okay, this S will be it. so type Boolean is blocked is also there. Now user profession. Okay, so after roles user. Or you can directly take profession so its type will be type will be string comma required will be true okay we have first name last name user remains and mobile password roles profession block then we have okay password change it let's go for the password so password changed at so it will be a date comma password reset token it will be a string then password reset expires expires this will be a date okay after that let's say timestamps will be true okay and now Stripe account ID, Stripe seller, and Stripe session. So create that also. Stripe, Stripe underscore account underscore ID will be a blank object. Stripe, let's say Stripe underscore seller. Stripe underscore seller. Then we have Stripe underscore or you can type session. Okay. So this is what you have to. Okay. One thing I have done wrong. It will be a blank string. Or you can simply take it string. Okay. Yeah. So this is our user model. Now go to controller. Create user CTR dot JS. So first of all, we need to import const user is equal to require dot dot slash model slash user model okay user model let's go with 
सम कमेंट्स के स्विफ्ट ऑल टाइप क्रिएट आ यूजर क्रिएट आ यूजर ओके एंड बिफोर दैट आई वांट टू क्रिएट टू मिडलवेयर्स विच आर फर्स्ट वन इज एरर हैंडलर Let's go inside middleware. We have error handler dot js. Inside this, we will create not found error handler. Not found error handler. Okay. Then const not found is equal to request response then next okay request response next so const error equal to new error new error so take temperature results not found or simply you can say route route not found and here you have to pass dollar request dot original url okay request dot original url then response dot status Response dot status will be four zero four in case of not found. And next, pass the error. Okay, so this is what you have to do for not found error handler. Then there is one more. Let's say error handler. In case of any error. We will throw or like by default if we it came okay then const error handle error is equal to equal to okay pass error request response and next okay request response and next then cons let's say status <clears throat> call Error handler. Okay, we are passing the error. So const status code. I think okay. Response dot. Okay, yeah, it's right. So const status. Or cons status code equal to response dot status code if equal to equal to response dot status code equal to equal to two hundred then. We have to show. Oh, what we can do? Let's directly pass response dot status code. Okay. If it is there, response dot status code. Otherwise, let's say five hundred. Okay, then response dot 
status and pass this status code after that response dot json response dot json inside json we will pass status false okay status false then false message will be error dot message after that stack then error to gmail dot stack okay so this is how you have to create your error handler now export module dot exports equal to handle error comma not found not found okay now what we have to do let's move to index.js index.js and in last app dot use let's say not found then app dot use app dot use handle error okay now open postman okay let me create let me delete this i am starting from beginning delete this also so go to collections here you have to create a collection this name will be lms job portal okay then inside this we will add a request or net delete it let's add a folder and add it okay rename it let's say user model routes or whatever you want to give inside this add a request let's say register a uh, user okay and now go to environments let's create one lms job portal now create one base underscore url then default okay it will be http slash slash localhost localhost then let's check okay it's running on i think 4000 so 4000 slash api slash okay copy this paste it here also now close this and here you have to come click and search this sorry select this element job portal environment if you press or you write condi braces then here you will get the intelligence and now if you send the request then here we are getting status false message route not found then stack route not found okay so this is our um, how this is how error handler will work okay now so this see this is our not found so we are sending the status and error okay now what we have to do let's move to user controller module dot exports exports is equal to a blank object for now and oh one more package we need to install close this earlier npm i express async handler okay 
so this package you have to install now so const let's say a sync handler is equal to require require then express a sync handler okay so const let's say create or yeah register a user is equal to async handler async handler then async async request response request response okay now inside this we will create our user so press enter okay let's start so first of all if you want to create a user what you have to do we have what we need from the user side mm, let me show the user model so we have all of these the fields that we not need to pass from the postman or you can say body okay now so to remove the duplication what you have to do is let's say um, get the email from request.body and find whether a user with this email this email exist or not okay let's work on this so const email is equal to request dot body dot email okay request dot body dot email now log this or you can directly response dot json and pass this email and before response dot status then dot json so status will be 200 okay status will be 200 and okay that we will do later now let's export it move to routes here we have to create user routes.js okay so const express equal to require express okay then const let's say user router is equal to express dot router and call it now module dot exports is equal to user router okay now user router dot post so post let's say it will go to register okay comma api slash okay so register then let's register a user okay this you need to do now move to index.js after this get here app.use app.use let's say slash api slash user i think slash we don't need to give user comma let's say user router okay let me check the route okay mm. slash api slash 
ओके स्लैश ए पी स्लैश यूजर स्लैश रजिस्टर नाउ रन द सर्वर एंड पी एम रन लैब आवर एप इज फ्रेश स्ट्रिंग इज नॉट डिफाइन दैट मी चेक फेयर एन एम एस यूजर मॉडल ओके यूजर मॉडल स्ट्रिंग स्ट्रिंग ओके दिस एस विल बी बिल्क ओके नाउ इट्स मोर टू रीड द रिक्वेस्ट ओके सो यूजर स्लैस रजिस्टर ओके नाउट नोट फाउंड स्लैश ए पी आई स्लैश यूजर ऑफ दिस रिक्वेस्ट विल बी पोस्ट लाइक वन मिनट या दिस रिक्वेस्ट विल बी पोस्ट लेट्स ट्राई ना कैन नॉट रीड प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ एंड डिफाइन ई मेल बिकॉज वे हेड पास एड नहीं Now click on form data row. Oh, sorry, not form data row. Then select JSON and pass email. Okay, let's say Andy at the rate gmail dot com. Send the request. Still cannot read. Okay, row JSON. Email. Let me check. User control. P M A I L email. Uh oh. Why it is giving? Email. Okay, request dot body dot email. Do one thing. Let's log email here and check if you are getting it or not. Okay. I think we need to rerun the server. Why? Npm run dev. And let's check now. Why we are not getting the email? Request dot body get dot email. Okay, go to go to go to user routes register or user. Auto form data, pass email, and the at the rate gmail dot com. Still cannot read properties. Okay, the problem is here we have to do app dot app dot. Hmm, let's say app dot use. body parser dot json okay then app dot use app dot use then body parser dot url encoded url encoded then extended ports This is why you are not getting the data now. If you try to send the request, so here you guys can see we are getting the email. Okay, now move to user control. Okay, let's say const email is equal to request dot body dot email. Then what we have to do? We have to find the user with this email let's say give the comments 
find the user with this email get from request dot body okay after that let's say const find user find user await user dot find one user dot find one and here we have to pass email then email okay and if you response dot json response dot status 200 dot json here you have to pass find user find user oh find user okay now let's try to send the request let's see what we will get null because user is not present in the db in case now what we will do if if not find user not find user what we need to do create a user if not find user create a user okay so here const new or you can say create user equal to await user dot create request dot body okay then response dot status will be 200 dot json and json directly pass the create user create user okay else throw new error throw new error which will be user already exists okay let's say move to the user validation field because we need to pass other details also so we have first name first name let's say now the comma we have last name last name okay, yeah comma we have the email then let's say get the model we have user images by default okay email mobile password so then we have mobile let's say it's two six four nine five four two three four okay then Mm. password we need to send password let's say mono one six seven six four now and okay profession first name last name okay profession will be a developer okay let's try to send the request and here you are getting the user okay now one more db become pass open it connect so okay go to lms so here we have user stable delete it for now Okay, now 
what we have to do is we have to encrypt the password okay we have to encrypt the password so to encrypt the password we will use bcrypt we will use bcrypt okay so let's start let's say user schema dot three three save on save async function async function pass next then const a let's say const bcrypt bcrypt is equal to require require bcrypt so bcrypt is the library that we use to has our password so const salt equal to await bcrypt dot gen salt then read salt let's say 10 then this dot password is equal to await decrypt dot hash decrypt dot hash then this dot password comma salt okay this dot password comma salt and then pass the request to next okay this is done now let's try to create a user send the request so here you guys can see our password is encrypted now one more thing i need to change is okay let's make some changes in this response so here we will send status will be true message will be let's say user created successfully okay then we will send the data in comma now go to MongoDB refresh here you have one user deleted delete and go to postman send the request so here you are getting status true message created successfully and if you send it again here you are getting status false message user already exists status sorry stack user already exists okay so this is how you have to do now next thing is mm, let's say login a user so now let's focus on login functionality so what you have to do is let's left a comment here let's say login a user okay then const login user equal to async handler then async async request response okay request response so first of all what we have to do go to user model here we will create method so users schema dot methods dot is password is password match is password matched then async we have a function function then okay async function so entered password whatever password we will enter that will come from here and it will return 
await decrypt decrypt dot compare what we need to compare entered password and the current password stored in DB. So this dot this dot password. Okay, this is what we have to do now. Move to user control. So in our user control, what we have to do is first of all, let's say mm, okay const restructure it email and password email and password from request dot body okay restructure email and password from request dot body first of all we will check let's say let's say check check if user exists this or not okay so how you can check let's say const find user is equal to same we need to do what we have done in register a user so await user dot find one user dot find one how you have to find with the help of email email you have to find then if we have the user if find user and end and end await await find user dot is password mm, is Let's say await find user. I'm not getting okay. Is password matched? So is password matched? Then here you have to pass this password. This password that we got from request.body that we will pass in this method, and this method will check if the password is same as we have stored in db so then what we need to do okay mm. response okay we need to generate the token also now so to generate the token create a file in config folder jwt token jwt token dot js okay jwt token dot js here okay we need to install one package which is json web token well here so npm i json web token okay so let it be installed on the server so const jwt is equal to require json web token okay now const mm, generate token Pass the ID from here and so it will return JWT dot sign JWT dot sign then ID then process dot env dot now move to dot env file here we will create our secret JWT underscore secret equal to let's say my secret okay now move to jwt token so mm. i forgot okay jwt underscore secret so 
जे डब्ल्यू टी अंडर स्कोर सीक्रेट ओके देन वी हैव टू पास हाउ मच टाइम इट विल टेक टू एक्सपायर इट से वन डे ओके नाउ मॉड्यूल डॉट एक्सपोर्ट्स इक्वल टू जनरेट टोकन ओके नाउ मोव टू मोव टू मोव टू यूजर कंट्रोलर ओके यूजर कंट्रोलर रजिस्टर ऑफ यूजर ओके हियर सो इफ यू फाइंड द यूजर एंड पासवर्ड इज करेक्ट देन रेस्पॉन्स डॉट स्टेटस टू हंड्रेड डॉट जेसन इन साइड जेसन वी विल पास स्टेटस ट्रू देन मैसेज विल बी लेट से लॉक इन सक्सेसफुली एंड देन वी हैव ओके टोकन सो हाउ यू हैव टू जेनरेट द टोकन लेट से जेनरेट टोकन so when you generate it na see here it is automatically imported so generate token we need to pass find user this find user this find user have a id see this underscore id we need to pass from here so question mark dot underscore id okay give comma so we have to send that token and okay token let's say send the role so role will be find user your send mark dot mm, find user dot role mm, go to model its roles not role okay go to user control roles okay i think token we need role we need let's say user name will be find user Question mark dot first name plus find user question mark dot last name okay and send user image also user image question mark dot and go to model okay where is the user underscore image. Okay, user image will be question mark find find user dot user underscore image. Okay, this is what we have to do. Otherwise, else throw new error throw new error. let's say invalid credentials okay invalid credentials now so we have created a user let's say check the details okay and here the gmail.com now go to collections so create a request oh we need to export it and create a route so comma login user now go to user routes let's say user router dot post slash login comma 
login user okay so yes login comma login user okay this is done now let's move to post file add a request request will be post let's say login a user login a user login a user here pass base url then slash mm, okay user slash login go to body go to row json and here we need to pass email andy at the red gmail dot com so first time what i'm doing is i'm sending the wrong password okay send so here you are getting status false message invalid credentials okay now let's send the right password send the request so here you are getting status true message then token role username and user image okay now the three eyes go to user control okay do one thing give up plus here and pass a blank string now try to log it yeah now it's coming perfectly so now what we will do is let's say copy and go to environment mm. here we will pass bearer token it will be a secret and pass this okay so this is how you can pass via token from environments now move to collection okay go to login i am just giving the example here choose bearer token okay and now pass it bearer token okay so this is how you can set bearer token in postman with the help of postman environments i think clear till now so we are done with login functionality we are done with register a user functionality so let's check next okay mm. get all users let's move to this get all users so get all users okay get all users so here const get all users is equal to async handler then async request response okay take try catch try catch error and let's see throw new error mm, throw new error pass the error okay throw new error pass the error and here const all users is equal to await user dot find user dot find and then the response dot status 200 dot json so status will be true comma message will be 
all users fetch successfully okay then comma all user now export it comma get all users get all user go to go to go to go to user route let's say give a comment mm, all post routes all post routes and here all get routes okay so user router dot get let's say user mm, slash all comma mm, get all user user all dash users okay now create a request add request get all users and get all users base url okay now users less all dash users let's try to send the request so here how we are getting the all users okay one thing we can do get all users now move to user control mm -hmm. okay roles user instructor and admin okay that it be so our get all user functionality is done Mm, let me check row let's see this is done this is done okay let me change another okay this is done this is done and this is done so three modules are done mm, now let's move to update a user profile okay so update a user profile or you can say update a user so const update user is equal to async handler async request response then try catch okay throw new error pass the error and const let's say user equal to Await await user dot find by ID and update from where we will get the ID. Okay, so now what we have to do, we have to create two middlewares. First one is auth middleware, and second one is is admin middleware. Okay. So go to middleware, create auth, create auth middleware dot js. Okay. Now here we need const user is equal to require dot dot slash model slash user model 
okay then we need const jwt is equal to require json web token okay then const mm, async handler is equal to require express async handler then const let's say auth middleware auth middleware is equal to async handler async request response and next okay request response and next let's say let token then if if request dot request question mark dot adders dot authorization dot okay, request dot adders dot authorization dot starts with starts with what be error okay starts with b error then this token equal to request dot headers dot authorization dot we need to split it split it with what blank space and then split will return a array and from first index we need the value new question mark okay this is done now q try here we will check if token if we got the token then const recorded is equal to jwt dot verify we will verify it so token comma process dot env dot jwt underscore secret okay we will verify it then if it is verified so const const user equal to await user dot find by id user dot find by id and it is decoded you will get a id so decoded question mark dot id okay decoded dot id and then request dot user equal to user and then it will pass the request with that oh, next okay this is done now here we have the catch after this try so catch error error and throw throw new error throw new error mm, let's say not authorized not authorized not authorized please login again okay and after this else else throw new error if we don't have any token then there is no token attached to the header okay there is no token attached to the header so this is what all about our post middleware now we will create const is mm, admin equal to async handler async request 
response next okay request response next so inside that what we will do is const email this email we will get from where request dot user see here we are giving request dot user is equal to assigning inside request we are saving user so we will get this email from request dot user okay but we are not providing the email there i think wait 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 oh yeah it's there so request dot user then what we will do const const let's say is admin equal to await user dot find user dot find find one user dot find one with the help of email we will find the user then if is admin dot is admin dot role roles mm, not equal to equal to admin then mm, then throw throw new error new error mm, which is a or let's say you are not an admin okay else pass the request okay now create one more so this is for his instructor his instructor his instructor his instructor his instructor instructor then here we will pass instructor okay if it is needed then we will use it so const is admin sorry need to export it now so module module dot exports equal to um, auth middleware then is admin then is instructor okay this is done roles equal to instructor okay now let's move to user routes okay get all users so who can get all the users is admin okay admin can get all the users then now move to user controller okay so if we update a user then now from where we will get the user details any mm. so we have request dot user so const underscore id from request dot user okay const underscore id from request dot user mm. okay one more thing we need to do oh, where i will do this when did it more db id mm -hmm. So let's go to config itself. Create, validate, validate MongoDB ID dot JS. Okay, MongoDB ID dot JS. Here, const mongoose is going to require mongoose okay then let's say const validate 
MongoDB ID. MongoDB ID. We need to pass a ID to validate. Okay, so const is valid is equal to mongoose dot mongoose dot types dot object ID and pass that ID here. So if not is valid not is valid then throw new error so what's the error is this id is not valid or not found not found okay this id is not valid or not found now go to user control so after this validate um, i need to export it so module module dot exports equal to validate mongodb id now go to user control validate mongodb id and pass underscore id to here okay this is done now let's move to user update functionality so const user is equal to await user dot find by id and update here how you have to find the user is underscore id with the help of underscore id you will find the user then comma what we have to update is let's say request dot body mm. remove this to pass request dot body then it's not needed then comma new will be true new will be true okay after that response dot status will be 200 then json let's say status true message but user or you can say What we can show profile profile updated successfully. Okay, profile updated successfully, then pass the user. Okay, export this update user now move to user routes and shift all sorry shift alt a to give command shift alt a update user profile or sorry not update user profile all put routes you have to write all put routes so user router dot put so how you need to update is update as profile then update user and anyone can okay this is done now let's move to postman add a request which is put request and edit it update user profile base url user slash update dash profile 
अपने टेस्ट प्रोफाइल को ऑथराइजेशन सिलेक्ट बेर ओके नाउ मो टू बॉडी रो जेसन कॉपी दिस कंट्रोल सी फॉर अपडेट विजुअल प्रोफाइल पेस्ट सो हियर आई एम अपडेटिंग नेम मोनू सेंड द रिक्वेस्ट कैन नॉट डिस्ट्रक्चर प्रॉपर्टी अंडर स्कोर आई डी रिक्वेस्ट डॉट यूजर एज इट इज अंडिफाइंड ओके लॉग इन कॉपी दिस टोकन मो टू इन्वायरमेंट तो वन थिंग मेक इट डिफॉल्ट पेस्ट पेस्ट ओके देन गो टू ऑथराइजेशन बेर टोकन ओके Try to send the request. Cannot destructure property. I okay. did. Oh, got it. Here we need to pass auth middleware. Cause so class constructor object ID validate MongoDB ID without new. No new error. Let me check. What's the error here? Okay. Mongoose object ID. Oh, sorry. Dot is valid. We need to pass. Now try to send the request. Okay. So here you are getting first name Monu and last name Priya. Okay, so this is how you can update a user. Okay, so let's say this is also done. Now let's focus on user deletion. Okay, close this. Go to user controller. Create comments. Delete a user. So const delete user is equal to async handler async. Then request response. Okay. So delete user const. Okay, let's check. Try catch. Catch. Error. And press. Sorry, throw. New error. Pass the error to here. And const underscore id. Or you can say id is equal to request dot. Arms. Okay, then const delete user equal to delete user equal to await user dot find by id and delete pass the id. Okay, pass the id and response dot status response dot status will be 200 dot json status sorry not a string status will be true comma message user deleted successfully successfully then yeah i think that's it so 
now delete a user you can remove it copy comma now go to routes so all delete routes so route mm, user router dot delete let's say slash id id comma who can delete a user is okay first of all it should be logged in then it should be a admin then mm, delete a user delete user okay now mm, change this role data log make it admin update okay now this user is the admin okay now what we will do is we will create a new user let's say now the and d 123 change the number password is profession then roles roles let's say user create the user mm, copy the id auto collections create a request delete a user delete base url user slash id send the request false there is no token attached to the header go to authorization select bearer now send the request so here you are getting user deleted successfully so this is also done now let's move to what we will do next okay what we can do let's move to let's create one more role get a user and now after this shift or a get a user <clears throat> get a user then const get a user get a user get a user equal to async handler async request response then Mm, ID we will get from Teram so const const underscore ID or direct ID take ID is equal to request dot params okay request dot params then take try catch throw new error pass the error then const get profile get profile is equal to await user dot find by id and pass the id then response dot status status 200 dot json pass status 
will be true comma message user found 10 comma get profile pass get profile now copy export it and export it after get a user new comma go to user route so this is a get request so user router dot get so let's say slash id comma get a user now go to postman on one more thing we need to do user should be logged in so auth middle where we need to pass add a request let's say get a user then base url and direct pass the mm -hmm. okay first of all we need to create a user copy paste paste and send the request route not found oh sorry user slash there is no token but authorization select bearer token then so here how you can find a particular user okay now next thing okay let me edit this mm. so let's get a user okay this is a now move to token and block a user go to user control okay shift all day block a user block a user then const block user is equal to async handler async request response okay so okay one thing i forgot here so validate mongodb id id here also validate mongodb id id if some problem is happening for with this id then it will help us to find the error okay so inside this const id is equal to request dot params then validate mongodb id you need to validate it take try catch try catch sorry try catch inside catch throw new error and pass the error okay so here let's say const block is equal to await user dot find by id and update how you can find a user with the help of id then what we need to change is is blocked is blocked will be true comma new true okay is block true and new true then response dot status 200 comma json json let's say status status will be true comma message user blocked successfully okay is blocked will be true then copy paste make it unblock okay is blocked will be 
false here unblock so user unblock successfully now export it block user comma unblock user auto user routes auto user routes so this request will be a port request so user router dot put slash block slash id id comma block user and it should be a logged in user and it should be a admin only admin can block a user then make it unblock here pass unblock user now let's move to postman add a request add request post sorry not post it will be put base url so user slash user slash block slash let's say copy the id paste it block a block a user user okay send the request there is no token authorization bearer token send so user block now create one more new request let me close all okay create a request inside user model routes put request unblock a user base url user slash unblock slash we have to pass the id and send the request okay authorization bearer token user unblock successfully okay now let's first send this photo db let's say now we have this user now the okay why i am getting this block balls user block successfully go okay refresh is block oh sorry be small okay is block okay now send the request again so here you are getting true okay now go to unblock send the request run the query again here you are getting false okay so our unblock a user is also done now this middleware is also done now our forgot password reset password then reset password email and admin role creation i think admin role creation is not needed now okay so one thing we can do remove it okay so now for code password reset password reset password email and is google authentic so now our forgot password reset password and then we have to send the email and update our password so let's start create a 
const update password is equal to async handler async handler then async async request comma response request comma response okay then const we need underscore id from request dot user okay const underscore id is equal to request dot user then password from body so password from request dot body okay then validate mongodb id underscore id okay then validate mongodb id so try catch throw new error throw new error mm, let's say error okay error so inside this try we will find the user so const user equal to await user dot user dot find by id find by id and pass the underscore id okay then if we have the password if we have the password then user dot password equal to password user dot password equal to password and const updated password or you can say directly await await user dot save okay and response response give me a minute response dot status 200 200 dot mm, status dot json status status true message password updated successfully successfully okay then mm, okay that's, this is done if password one more thing we can do here before this if control next if user and then await user dot is password matched is password then we have to send throw new error please provide a new password instead of instead of old one okay otherwise else mm, control v you can remove this if password Okay. Control X. Control X. So if we have user and and if we have password and then we will match it. If it is also true. Okay. Let's see how it will work update password go to user routes so it's a put request so user router 
dot user router dot put let's say update dash password comma both middleware comma date password okay update password so create a new request will be put update user password base url what authorization stack bearer token okay go to body go to row then json and pass password let's say if i enter last password and press send the request route not found oh sorry so we have user slash update dash password send the request password updated successfully because okay I think go to user control if we have user and remove this await user dot is password password let's again send the request sorry go to update password false error is not defined false error is not defined throw a new error oh sorry error let's send the request please provide a password instead of old one let's say if i do 4 one six seven six four updated again try to update please provide a new password instead of old one now it's working fine okay and again if i change it now it is working properly so this is how you can update password functionality now next thing is forgot password functionality okay one thing is pending mm, go to model user model here we have to do some changes inside user model we need to check if we are updating the password so come here this password matched okay inside the save function so if not this dot is modified this dot is modified but password then we need to pass it okay if not this dot is modified we need to pass it let's check error please provide a okay now again change it yeah it's working fine because we can't like make a password i can indicate okay then next thing is create a method user schema dot user schema dot methods dot user schema dot methods dot create password reset token reset token create password reset token is equal to a sync a function then inside this function mm, const reset token reset token is equal to crypto okay let me check so here we need to import the crypto so const crypto 
is equal to require crypto it's a inbuilt package you don't have to install it so crypto cons reset token is equal to crypto dot random bytes so 32 dot two string two string okay and here pass x okay then this dot password reset token is equal to crypto dot crypto dot create hash crypto dot create hash sha256 then dot update what we need to update is reset token then dot digest x okay dot digest x then this dot password reset expires this dot password reset expires is equal to date dot now date dot now plus 30 into 60 into 1000 it means approx 10 minutes or min 10 minutes okay then it will return reset token okay it will return reset token that means a cons reset token is equal to crypto random bytes dot to string okay then this dot password token is equal to crypto dot create has update reset token Okay, then this dot password reset expires. Crypto now it will return reset token. Now go to user control. Mm. Okay, so let's say for code password token. Okay, here we will generate forgot password token and send it to the email so const const forgot password forgot password token equal to forgot password token equal to async handler async handler async request response okay then what we need is first of all we need the email from request dot body okay then with the help of that email we will find the user const user equal to user is equal to await user dot find by find one email email okay then if not user then we need to throw new error this error is user not exists with this email okay user not exist with this email otherwise try let's end catch error and throw new error pass the error okay let's say const token equal to await user that method we have created create Okay, go to go to model copy this paste it user dot create reset password token and call it now it will return you the reset password token then await await user dot save 
await user dot save okay this is run till now so const reset mm. const reset link you can say const reset link will be Let's see what we can do. Okay, let's take it simple. HTTP less less local host. For now, five thousand. I think car port is running on 5000 now. Port environment. It's running on 4000. Let's run it on 4000. Slash API. Slash user. Slash reset. As password. Password. Slash token. Dollar token okay and response.json response.json response.status 200 dot json reset link okay reset link okay until now currently i am not implementing the email functionality first i will create the forward password and reset password function so then const reset password reset password is equal to async handler then async 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 request response so here we need const password from request.body then we need the token which we will get from request.params okay then const let's say const as token equal to Mm, crypto dot let me check if it is imported okay so const crypto is going to require crypto require crypto go down so has token crypto dot create has it has so SHA 256 dot update token equal to dot digest x so whatever password we will pass we will as it then const we will find the user from that has password, has password sorry okay then const sorry so whatever we will token whatever token we will get from params now we will has it and then we will find the user from that token so crypto not crypto await let's say user dot user dot user dot find one user dot find one it's password reset token will be password reset token will be this token okay and comma <coughs> password reset token expires will be 
dollar gt greater than date dot now okay so this is how we have to find the user if not user then throw new error mm, token expired token expired please try again okay token expired please try again otherwise user dot password is equal to password user dot password is equal to password then user dot password reset token will be undefined user dot password reset token expires will be undefined undefined then await await user dot save and response dot status 200 dot json and here status let's say true comma message password reset successfully okay so this is what we have to do <clears throat> now update it sorry export it then reset password move to user routes so these routes will be mm, put so these route will be put i think one is post okay so router not router user router dot post post slash let's say for got as password comma or code password token okay then go to put go to put so router dot put router dot sorry guys user router dot put mm, user router dot put reset password slash id not id Go to user control token. Okay, user routes token comma reset password. Okay. So copy this. Go to postman. Open connections. Add a request. Or go to password this url request will be post user slash for bot as password and inside body row json we need to send the email let's say email will be nd at the rate gmail.com send the request so this is our um, save the request okay let's add our request add request will be put base url user slash reset as password reset as password slash um, users less reset as password copy this token copy paste reset password after getting token okay then go to body row mm, json 
here pass your password password let's say send the request so here you will get password reset successfully and one more thing we can do okay let it be so this is how you can create reset password functionality and how you can generate password for code password token okay so now for code password and reset password is done now email functionality is pending so what you have to do so now i am going to tell you how you can generate email password like google app password so you have to search google app password google app password then go to this link okay so with the help of this link you will generate a google app password and after that go and star store it in your mail underscore so here you will come mail underscore pass and store it here now you can use it to create your mail functionality so um, let's see how we can generate our email now open terminal close the server for some time install npmi node mailer okay install the node mailer again run the server and inside this controller create email ctrl dot ctrl dot js okay now const node mailer equal to node mailer equal to require require node mailer node mailer okay then const async handler is equal to require require express async handler handler okay Mm, node mailer I think const node mailer is equal to require okay const async handler okay express async handler okay after that create a function const send mail or you can send email is equal to async handler async request not request let's say data okay data request response and then let's create the transporter so let trans transporter that transporter is equal to node mailer dot node mailer dot create transport so inside create transport we will do host so our host is smtp smtp dot gmail dot com then let's say port port will be 587 then secure will be false false after that auth inside auth we have user inside user pass the mail id pass the mail id and then we have to pass a password so process dot env dot mail underscore pass okay process dot env dot mail underscore pass after that
sorry for the disturbance guys so after that let let info equal to let info equal to await transporter dot send mail inside mail we have to pass from so from will be developers corner okay developers corner then to so to we will send data sorry to we will send it with the help of data we will make it dynamic so to data dot to subject data dot data dot subject then we have text so data dot text data dot text then we have html will be data dot html okay after that hmm, log log message send message sent mm, comma info info dot message id okay then again dog dog review url review url and comma node mailer node mailer dot get test message url get test message url and pass info okay so now after that module sorry module dot exports is equal to send email so this is how you have to create your mailer functionality now after all that okay after all that what you have to do let me store this mail id here also mail underscore id equal to gmail.com okay gmail.com mail underscore pass this is fine put email control here process dot env dot mail underscore id now auto user control auto user control and user control okay so here we have to send the mail so send email so first of all what we need to do we need to create the data so const data equal to let's say two will be email what we get but which we will get from from body okay then text will be let's say okay user okay then a hey user or directly you can do one thing so we have this user okay user do one thing dollar user dot first name plus not plus then user dot last name plus 
okay, one more plus and pass blank string. Okay, hey user. Then we have to send the subject. Subject will be so for code password. For code password, then HTML will be reset link. Reset link. Reset link. Okay. Let's and pass the data here. Now let's try. Okay. First of all. say ND YT ND YT one six seven six change the name okay name is not what not unique change the number send the request okay copy the mail now go to four code password and send it now gmail okay let me check in my phone okay ndyt okay i got the mail so Okay, copy one minute, guys. Set. paste. So, this is the link I got. Copy more to postman. Change it, remove it till user, and let's change the password to. So, you guys can see here we will get password reset successfully. So, so this is done, this is done, this is also done now. This is also done. Authentication method like Google and etc. So this is pending. So let's start. So now what you have to do is we need to install some packages. Let's open a terminal. So npm i mm, let's say passport passport connect dash mongo connect dash mongo then express session okay now search passport js open it okay we will still see so here we have to go Passport Google or two zero. Copy this and install this. So these all packages we need to install for Google login. Now, next thing what we will do is here after db dot connect app dot use app dot use. What we need to use session session from express session then inside it receive will be false then save uninitialized will be false will be false 
then secret secret will be let's say my secret for now my secret after that store store will be mongo store mongo mongo store from connect mongo dot create dot create dot create and inside that we need to take mongo url so mongo url will be process dot env dot mongodb mongodb underscore uri okay mongodb underscore uri then ttl so it will go till 12 into 60 into 60 okay so after that app dot use app dot use passport dot initialize and then app dot use app dot use mm, passport dot session okay passport dot session so this is done till now now go to utils inside utils create a file inside utils create a file passport dot js and in routes create google route google routes dot js okay google routes dot js now const google route google router equal to require require express mm, let's record it here itself router okay then const const passport is equal to require passport after that mm, we need generate token okay token generator then here we need model also so const user is equal to require let's say dot dot slash model slash user model okay then let's create our first route google router dot get dot get google router dot get slash login login slash success slash login slash success comma async async or you do one thing express async handler then async request response okay request response so let it be for now now copy this second you have to create for if in case of failed in case of failed then mm, copy in case of failed copy it paste so this will go to slash google then inside it we need to do okay here you have to remove this 
Or let it be. Let's do inside it. So await passport dot authenticate Google then Google pass profile profile email okay then we need to create a callback so callback it will go to auth slash google slash callback okay google's auth google callback okay here what we will do passport dot authenticate okay this is fine now remove this and let's say success redirect will be slash login slash success comma failure redirect will be slash login slash failed okay now next thing is control c control b so auth slash i think logout we didn't okay let create now so it will go to logout logout okay here response dot logout response dot logout and response dot redirect redirect to slash okay this we need to do oh sorry here not it will be request dot logout okay now module dot exports is equal to google router now move to index.js here so api dot use api sorry what i'm doing not api app dot use app dot use slash comma google router okay slash comma google router next thing is now come to this passport dot js so const google google strategy str strategy is going to require require equal to require what we need to require is passport google or 20 dot strategy okay dot strategy then next thing we required is passport next thing we required is passport after that here also we need const user model user is equal to require dot dot slash models slash user model okay then mm, passport dot use passport dot use new mm, new google strategy new google strategy and second thing you have to do is 
let's say here passport dot serialize serialize user comma 10 and it will then null comma user okay copy this again paste it second one is deserialize user same user done then null user okay now come to new google strategy here what we will do is we will pass okay client id client id then client secret <coughs> then we have call back call back call back call back url Call back URL after that scope. Scope scope will be profile comma email. Okay. So this is done till here. New Google strategy. Then here create a function async function request comma this token these old things are i think don't need let's say only profile comma then okay profile comma then now here what we will do is log log profile okay then it will return return it will return then return done null comma user now go to index.js here inside this a href is equal to mm, let's say it will go to http slash slash localhost mm, i think 5000 let me check the port five okay it's four thousand so four thousand slash four thousand slash google let me check what i'm getting okay let me check uninspected token so what you have to do is wrap it in practice now one thing i need to do is login with login with google okay this is done here we are getting a button login with google so after that move to user control user control Mm, not user control need to go to google routes so in login success here we will do so if if 
let's say request dot user if request dot user then it will give let's say let's directly print request to do success here directly to success inside failed we will response dot status response dot status 401 then dot json dot json inside json we will pass status false comma message message login field okay let's copy this here also it's two zero zero status true let's say login successful now now come to passport.js so here you have to generate your client id and secret so how you can do is you have to go to google cloud platform okay okay so you have to search cloud.google.com and you have to move to console login mm -hmm. then from here my project I think it's different oh yeah so you will get something like this then here you have to click and from here you have to generate your auth client id so i already generated i am not generating it again okay so this is how you have to do sorry it's because of internet interruption okay now let's move to downloads you can download a json file like this copy and pass the client id then okay this is the secret key paste okay so client id client secret after that here we need to pass http slash slash or directly you can pass callback url slash auth slash google slash callback okay so this we need to pass now after all that let's try to click on login with google login with google okay let's see if it works There is no error till now why it is not going mm -hmm. I think I missed something Oh, one thing I forgot what I need to do is const passport setup equal to require require dot slash mm, util slash passport this we need to do 
now refresh it click on google now it should work still not opening let me check We are not getting any error. Passport setup dot slash util slash passport. Then we have initialized the session app dot get http localhost four thousand slash google. Okay. Google router, then go to routes, Google routes, login success we are done, okay, this is also done, I think it's because of this, remove this and try it again, refresh, refresh, Google router Let me check Google router dot get passport dot authentication Google and profile and email Okay Remove this also. User generate open. Okay, this is all set. Now come to here. Okay, I think I need to pass all the parameters. Copy this, paste it, and remove this. Drop file. Now go back. Error is not defined. E R R. Okay, let's send it to null. Go back, login with Google. Login success we are getting. Okay, now if we log the profile, log profile, go back, refresh, login with Google, login success. Now let's check the log. So here we are getting all the details of a user. Now, so here what we will do is let's say let data equal to let data equal to profile question mark dot underscore JSON then const user equal to now make this function async that user equal to await await user dot find user dot find one find one with how email email then data dot email with the help of data.email we will find the user now if user 
diffuser then return this otherwise else const const new user is equal to await user dot create user dot create user dot create let's say first name data dot name then last name mm, last name will be data dot given underscore name then user underscore image underscore image will be data dot data dot picture after that here we have to pass comma data dot picture comma mm, then we have email email data dot email comma role will be by default roles i think uh, roles will be by default a user okay then it will return give await here also await copy paste okay so this is what we have to do return await now move to mm, now move to google routes google route here what we will do is here we will check mm, okay what we need to do here is do one thing again go to passport.js and instead of this profile pass the user itself and here new user okay now come here and go to google route here we will check console control let's directly do one thing comma request dot user request dot user user will be request dot user let's check what we will get go back okay so this is how you can get a user here and one more thing i want to tell you have to go to your user model okay here you have to create your mobile required dot true remove that required true and password dot required true okay and yeah i think that's it so these two things you have to required true you have to remove and same for profession you have to do now here we are getting the data after that what we will do is let's move to google routes mm, remove this so if request dot user then what we need to do is const find user find user is equal to await user dot find one user dot find one with the help of email we will find the user then request dot user dot email so if find user if find user what we have to do then response dot status 200 
dot json so status will be let's move to user routes go to login okay go to user control copy move to google routes paste here okay now here we need generate token okay then find user dot id role will be find user dot roles username user image and from google okay from google so this is all what you have to do next thing is okay if else throw new error mm, something went went wrong something went wrong okay let me check where i have missed Okay, pass a curly braces here. Okay, this is what we have to do. Now go back, click on so now here you are getting message token role username user image and from Google. Okay, let's check it in Microsoft Edge because here we have login localhost 4000 click on login with google here you have to click and here you will get your data on login dot login success route okay so this is how you have to do your login with google now let's move to canva and this is also Done. Okay, so our user model authentication system is totally completed. So thank you guys. Thanks for watching this video. Let's meet in the next video. Next video, what we are going to what we are going to do is we are going to create our tutorials functionality in our backend, and then we will do some reviews setup let's if someone want to review us then we will create that then after that we will do hmm, subscribe to our newsletter contact us functionality so these all are we are going to do in next video thank you guys so now as we are done with user functionality so we are moving to tutorial category creation so what you have to do is create a model cute category cute category dot js and const mongoose is going to require mongoose then let Shoot cat, shoot category, schema, shoot category schema, is going to new, mongoose dot schema, mongoose dot schema, then, let's say we have title, the title, type, type will be, string then required required will be true after that unique unique will be true okay unique will be true then we need select select type type will be string required true 
then unique will be true and index will be true after that we need tutorial category image tutorial category image or let's say directly take image image type will be string and default we need a default image so let's search for a default image block default image auto images or not block default image let's check and default image mm. let's go for this copy image address and pass it here after that timestamps timestamps will be true okay then module dot exports equal to mongoose dot model mongoose dot model so tutorial tutorial category tutorial category comma tutorial category schema okay so this is how we have to create our tutorial category schema now move to controller create a file tutorial get ctrl dot js const tutorial category is equal to require dot dot slash models slash tutorial category okay then we need const async and learn is equal to require async handler is going to require express async handler okay need express async handler okay next thing is let's say here what we will do is const const post post tutorial category is equal to async handler then async request response request response take try try catch and here throw new error will be error if there is any error we will throw a error so after that mm -hmm. say if request dot body request dot body dot title then what we need to do is we need a package so npm i sluggify npm i sluggify we need to install it and if request dot body dot title then request dot body dot slug equal to sluggify sluggify request dot body dot 
title dot to to lower case lower case okay then const post to get is equal to await tutorial category dot create tutorial category dot create request dot body so currently i am not handing image uploading okay that we will do in future so response dot status 200 dot json inside json we need to pass status true message will be tutorial category tutorial category created successfully okay and then pass or should get or simply you can send this okay now module dot module dot exports is equal to post tutorial category now move to routes here we will create to get routes dot js so const to get route to get router to get router is equal to require express dot router call it then to get router dot post to get router dot post let's say slash post comma post tutorial category okay then module dot exports is equal to module dot exports is equal to to get router now move to index.js so come here app.use let's say it will go to slash mm. what we can do is okay let's say tutorial tutorial slash category slash okay then shoot get router okay let's try this once open postman now here user model is done create one folder mm, rename it tutorial category model okay inside that create a request request will be post create tutorial category one thing i am missing who can create the category so go to two category routes auth middleware then is admin is admin can create tutorial categories only admin can create tutorial categories now let's move to base url mm. Let me check. 
go to next.js okay slash api slash copy paste remove this slash okay now go to toolkit route here okay slash post remove this slash from here okay now slash post and first of all what we need to do is we need to login we have the token copy now authorization bearer token okay go to environment here we need to change it okay now let's close all of these requests okay now go to body row json let's say we have title inside title html then mm, title okay then we have i think this is only the data to thing okay and send the request route not from api slash api oh sorry now send the request so tutorial category created successfully now move to tutorial category routes sorry not routes but controller here const get all categories get all categories get all two categories okay get all two category is equal to mm. async ender async request response then take try catch inside throw new error pass error and const all to get is equal to await tutorial category dot find tutorial category dot find and response dot status to hundred then JSON let's say status will be true message will be tutorials category fetched successfully then send the all to get okay next thing is const get date to category is equal to get date to category is equal to async handler async handler async request response request response then Okay, then try catch throw new error new error let's say error okay then const find to get find to get 
is equal to is equal to await tutorial category dot find by id and that id we will get from request dot params so const id is equal to request dot params okay we have to destructure the data now validate mongodb id and pass the id okay this is also done copy it and create one for delete delete a toot cat id we will get from request dot params and here find by id and delete and after that response dot status 200 dot json inside json status true message will be category found category found and then find shoot get we need to send the category data now come here to response dot status will be 200 dot json status will be true comma message will be tutorial category tutorial category related successfully okay now we are done with the data tutorial category and make it delete tutorial category okay this is done attitude get get all now one thing is pending mm -hmm. copy this one and paste it here instead of this data to get when the okay id we will get from params const update to get category updated find by id and update id comma let's say title we need to update or pass direct request or body comma new will be true okay and pass update to get not update or to get update to get so tutorial category deleted category tutorial category updated tutorial category deleted remove this successfully updated deleted category found tutorial category found tutorials category fetched okay now export all get a toolkit get all toolkit then update our toolkit update our toolkit after that delete our toolkit now move to router so toolkit router dot mm -hmm. Get okay, get on slash get our tutorial categories, then toot get router dot 
get slash id id comma auth middleware only admin can get a single tutorial category is admin comma data tutcat then tutcat router dot put so less id id comma let's say auth middleware is admin then update our tutcat then same tutcat router dot delete id comma auth middleware is admin and delete a tutcat so we have these five routes now let's try it one by one so here we have created a category photo collections <clears throat> How can I close this? Okay, yeah. Add request. Get all. Get all. Tutorial categories. Get all tutorial categories. This URL. Then. Mm, tutorial category slash send the request so here you are getting one tutorial category copy this now create one more request add request save this close save this and close this will be a get a tutorial category get a tutorial category so base url mm, tutorial category and pass this pass that id now go to authorization select bearer token and send the request so this is our get a tutorial category api now create one more request add request this will be put request base URL tutorial okay now update tutorial category update tutorial category so go to authorization select bearer token go to body Draw JSON and pass. Let's say title. So currently it is HTML now JS. Send the request. So JS. But I forgot to change one thing. Go to tutorial category controller. Here what we need to do if request dot body dot title title then then request dot body dot select is equal to selectify request dot body dot title dot to lower case and call it now go to postman again send the request so here you are getting your slug updated you are getting updated slug so post get all get a update tutorial category is done now let's move to add request delete delete tutorial category delete tutorial category and 
base URL. Go to this now authorization here a token and send the request. So here I think oh sorry this is not the get request this is the delete request now send the request so tutorial category deleted now if you go and check all the categories okay check so there is no detect no category okay save okay so we are done with tutorial category model now next thing we have to create is toot model in tutorial model so go to core go to models create tutorial model dot js inside that const mongoose is equal to require mongoose okay then const tutorial schema tutorial schema is equal to new mongoose dot schema and here timestamps will be true after that module dot exports is equal to module dot exports is equal to mongoose mongoose dot mongoose dot model and that's a tutorial tutorial and pass tutorial schema okay now let's create the schema so first of all title so required will be true required will be true then mm, unique will be unique true after that I'm oh, sorry I type string and I think index is not needed here then select so select required true then type string Type will be string and unique will be true index will be true because we are going to search a tutorial via select okay then tutorial category tutorial category type mm -hmm. mongoose dot schema dot types dot object id okay reference will be reference will be tutorial category okay required true after that topic name topic name so topic name that's copy paste then we have content copy paste remove unique ok 
okay after that and last we have keywords keywords mm -hmm. so type will be a array and required required will be true okay so we have title we have select tutorial category topic name okay then we have the tutorial content then keywords now move to controller here create tutorial controller.js okay tutorial controller.js and const tutorial is equal to require dot dot slash model slash tutorial model okay tutorial model now tutorial model module dot exports is equal to a blank object blank object and here we need const async and let is equal to require um, express async and let okay so let's say const post tutorial is equal to async handler then async request response inside that take try catch try catch inside catch so new error error okay so first of all we will check if request dot body dot title dot title then we need to do request dot body okay request dot body dot slug is equal to slugify request dot body dot title is equal to sorry dot to lower case lower case okay i think one thing i forgot let me check mm, go to model okay do one thing take this as a string as a string okay remove this reference and here we need tutorial category slug okay copy and paste so tutorial category slug tutorial category slug okay this is fine now move to tutorial control so here so if request dot body request dot body dot tutorial tutorial category 
body dot tutorial category then request dot body dot tutorial category select equal to select your file mm. request dot body dot tutorial category dot to lower case so request dot body dot tutorial category select is equal to okay now after that mm, I think it's not needed so const post dot is equal to await await tutorial dot create then request dot body okay response dot status 200 dot json status will be true comma message will be tutorial created successfully okay for tutorial created successfully now post tutorial create a file in routes tutorial routes dot js okay tutorial routes dot js now const tutorial router is equal to require express dot router then module dot exports is equal to tutorial router so tutorial router dot post slash comma auth middleware is admin then post tutorial okay now move to index.js here control cb api slash remove this tutorial okay tutorial route slash remove this slash also okay now create a folder add folder tutorial model okay inside this add request create a tutorial create a tutorial request will be post mm, tutorial route request will be post then base URL tutorial tutorial okay go to authorization select bearer token go to body draw json so title let's say introduction introduction then we have content content will be hello from introduction page then we have tutorial category let's say js 
then we have keywords a comma b comma c okay let me check that tutorial model tutorial okay topic name we have to pass then topic name topic name will be comma let's say for now introduction only send the request page not found api tutorial slash api slash tutorial not found okay tutorial go to index.js tutorial uh oh what have i done wrong oh sorry this is tutorial router okay now send the request so tutorial created successfully now next thing we have to do is go to let's close all the unwanted files now we need only tutorial controls and tutorial routes close all the files okay come here so const 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 get all tutorials get all tutorials one minute I think it's not needed. Here we need only get a tutorial is equal to async handler inside this async then request response take try catch inside try catch go new error error okay then const not here do it here so const select comma type is equal to request dot params select comma types from request dot params then const get a to data is equal to await tutorial await tutorial dot await tutorial dot find one okay find one then pass select select comma tutorial category select here you need to pass type okay type tutorial category select okay now const const tutorial topics topics is equal to await tutorial dot find tutorial dot find so how we have to find is tutorial category select then pass that type 
ओके देन डॉट सिलेक्ट डॉट सिलेक्ट व्हाट वी नीड इज ओके वी नीड टॉपिक नेम टॉपिक नेम टाइटल सलग एंड ट्यूटोरियल कैटेगरी सिलग डॉट शॉर्ट डॉट शॉर्ट पास क्रिएटेड एट ओके क्रिएटेड एट आफ्टर दैट रेस्पॉन्स डॉट स्टेटस रेस्पॉन्स डॉट स्टेटस टू हंड्रेड टू हंड्रेड डॉट जेसन दो स्टेटस विल बी ट्रू कॉमा मैसेज विल बी डेटा पेज देन we have mm, okay get it to data and let's say tutorial topics okay now export this get a tutorial okay till here we have done now photo tutorial routes so tutorial router dot get tutorial router dot get so first of all we need to set type then select okay get a tutorial now go to postman save this and one thing okay we will take it from somebody we can pass add a request get a tutorial so base url tutorial slash mm -hmm. open mongodb become pass let's check the data go to lms go to tutorial categories okay we have to create a category first create okay html now go to create a tutorial mm -hmm. html okay duplicate key to do one thing first of all pass js less introduction we have the tutorial data now let's say open tutorials we have this where is tutorial category schema and okay we have the select but we are not getting tutorial category select let me check go to you tutorial model okay tutorial category tutorial category select type string this is fine now go to tutorial control so request dot body dot if we have the tutorial category then request dot body dot tutorial category select is equal to slugify then request dot body dot tutorial category do one thing go to db 
delete this and create a new data send okay now refresh still not getting okay copy this paste paste and paste now again go to db delete refresh now again create and go to db let's check okay now we are getting the slug so what day tutorial tutorial js introduction pass the request we don't have data oh sorry we have created html now html send the request so we have this particular tutorial and we have tutorial topics now go to create a tutorial let's say introduction change it to now send the request we have one more tutorial send the request now inside tutorial topics we are getting two topics and here we are getting a particular topic let's say if i do introduction one and pass one and see currently it is giving title introduction select like introduction send the request now you are getting introduction introduct one and okay so this is how you have to create a tutorial and get a tutorial now next thing is okay this is also done let's say we have to update a tutorial so const update tutorial is equal to async handler async handler then async request response okay we need the id from request or params that which tutorial we need to edit okay then take try catch try catch inside this throw new error error and pass the error okay go up copy these two things copy these two things and paste it here after that again go up post to okay copy and here paste so update dude tutorial dot find by id and update and here we need to validate validate mongodb validate Okay, validate why I am not getting that check. That is for so const validate mongo dbid Okay, we let it be for some time update to tutorial dot category find by id so pass the id 
request dot body then comma new true okay then the response to json tutorial instead of created updated now exported update tutorial date tutorial go to tutorial route tutorial router dot put id comma auth middleware only admin can update the tutorial then is admin then update tutorial now move to postman create a request it will be put request sorry update tutorial update tutorial put request paste url tutorial slash get a tutorial okay copy the id pass go to body go to create a tutorial copy this and row json pass send the request there is no token okay go to authorization bearer token still not oh sorry bearer token send the request so here you are getting tutorial updated successfully so 35d4 introduction okay let me make it to to send the request now so here you are getting to to okay so this is how you have to update the tutorial okay next thing is delete our tutorials okay save this now go to tutorial control so const const delete tutorial is equal to await await sorry async handler async handler then async request response again we need the id from params request dot params params then take try catch show new error and pass error so const delete dot is equal to await tutorial dot find by id find by id and delete pass the id after that response dot status 200 dot json status true message will be tutorial deleted tutorial deleted okay now export this comma delete tutorial let's create one more route which is get all copy paste all tutorial we don't need any id roots away tutorial dot find 
then message tutorials fetched tutorial fetched then pass this dudes okay yeah fine now export it all tutorial auto tutorial routes copy remove this and here we need to pass auth middleware comma is admin and this will be all tutorial then copy this request will be delete we need the id and delete tutorial now go to postman add a request let's say get base url tutorial okay get all tutorials and send the request there is no token here a token send so we have all the tutorials save this save this okay get all tutorials is done now add one more request delete a tutorial tutorial okay request will be delete base url tutorial slash so copy this id and paste it save send the request api tutorial okay and send the request authorization bearer token send the request tutorial deleted now get all tutorials so here we have only one tutorial okay save let's close all of this so this is done now next thing is newsletter newsletter model okay so now next thing we are going to do is our newsletter functionality so create a file newsletter model.js sorry rename it js and generate a model mdbgum okay change this to news letter schema copy this control c control v and make it to news letter okay remove all of this let okay then comma time stamps time stamps will be true okay required unique yeah it's fine now create a file news letter controller dot js const newsletter newsletter equal to require dot 
dot slash model slash newsletter model then module dot exports module dot exports equal to a blank object and we need express a sync handler so in this two a sync handler validate okay go to config I don't know why I'm getting the license so const validate mongodb copy paste okay copy and paste is equal to require dot dot slash config slash validate mongodb id okay then const const the const mm, post post email is equal to a sync handler then a sync handler a sync request response try catch show new error pass the error okay after that const mm, const let's say new email is equal to await newsletter dot create request dot body okay then response dot status 200 dot json so status will be true comma message will be mm, subscribed subscribe to newsletter okay so this is what you have to do now const make this subscribe subscribe and then we have un subscribe is equal to async handler then async request response okay copy this so here we need the email so const const email is equal to request dot body dot email and newsletter dot find mm. okay do one thing const id equal to request dot params so find by id and delete and pass the id so unsubscribe to newsletter we have to show it will be delete email delete email now subscribe unsubscribe okay after that go to routes let's say news 
letter routes dot js the const newsletter route newsletter router is equal to require express dot router express dot router after that module dot exports newsletter router so here what we are doing is if we want to subscribe then we will push the email to our database otherwise we will remove it so if we have the email in our database then we will send the email otherwise we will not send the mail so here is that newsletter routes so newsletter router dot post slash comma subscribe then newsletter router dot delete id comma unsubscribe okay now go to index.js so app dot use slash api api slash news letter comma news letter router news letter router okay news letter router so now open postman and go to environments change this to 5000 5000 okay now go to collections open this so here add a request subscribe to newsletter request will be post base url newsletter body photo row json and then pass email let's say now the area 753 at the rate gmail.com send the request cannot read properties of undefined reading route let me check newsletter router okay newsletter router oh sorry now try to do send the request cannot read properties of undefined reading route where let me check news letter router news letter router news letter router subscribe and subscribe module dot export okay go to index.js news letter router slash api news letter A newsletter and not read properties of undefined. <clears throat> Let me check. Oh, got it. Mm, go to newsletter router. Oh, this is also done. Okay, subscribe and subscribe require newsletter router 
express dot router. If I go to the center controller, so module dot exports. Okay, this is also done. Validate MongoDB ID ID. Send the request. Status for and not read if the properties are undefined. Request dot body. Okay, log. Request dot body. Send the request. We are getting nothing. Okay. Five thousand slash API. Okay. Go to headers. And not read properties of undefined. Slash mm. so API yeah, slash newsletter. What I missed. <laughs> A newsletter routes module dot exports newsletter route dot post subscribe then this okay newsletter model newsletter controller here we have model Sync handler okay remove this mm. then send the request Post CMS API newsletter. Okay. <laughs> Layer dot handle reading now. Let me check. Cannot read properties of undefined reading now. I think there is some problem in routes require require express router now send the request okay then module to exports. Do one thing, comment this. Let's try to delete something, add request, base URL, newsletter, send the request. Okay, route not found. Route not found. Now, Route not found. Why route not found? Oh, sorry. Suddenly it route now. Send the request. Cannot read properties of undefined route. What is undefined? Oh, got it, guys. Okay. Subscribe. 
फ्रॉम कंट्रोलर एंड अनसब्सक्राइब फ्रॉम कंट्रोलर स्लैश न्यूज राइटर नाउ सेंड द रिक्वेस्ट सो हियर वी आर गेटिंग स्टेटस टू सब्सक्राइब टू न्यूज राइटर After that, so go to MongoDB. Okay, connect. Check LMS. So here we have newsletters. Copy the ID. And here, pass this. And subscribe to newsletter. So both are working. Unsubscribe to newsletter. Unsubscribe to newsletter, and this will be subscribe to newsletter. So our newsletter functionality is also done. So now we are moving to review functionality. So let's create the review model. Review model. dot js <clears throat> then mdb generate a model let review schema review schema and change this user to review <clears throat> after that make this review and here we need okay Name, remove this index two. Or I think remove this also. Instead of email, take um, okay name. Let's say post. Okay, post. Remove this unit two. After that, we keep. we have review review reviewer image type string default is a blank string for now after that we have comment 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 then we have color this color we are using for card color so every card we have different colors so type type string and required required true and then comma time stamps true so let's check name we have name we have post reviewer image then comment and color now do one thing go to user model and copy this copy and now okay <clears throat> one thing you can do instead of this let's move to review model instead of this take user and type will be mongoose dot schema dot types dot object id and reference will be user okay reference will be user now we don't need reviewer image and <clears throat> post also we don't need now we need only user comment and color okay now create a controller Review controller dot js 
एंड कॉन्स्ट रिव्यू इज इक्वल टू रिक्वायर रिक्वायर डॉट डॉट स्लैश मॉडल स्लैश रिव्यू मॉडल एंड वन मोर थिंग वी नीड इज कॉन्स्ट यूजर इज इक्वल टू रिक्वायर रिक्वायर डॉट 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 स्लैश मॉडल स्लैश यूजर मॉडल आफ्टर दैट वी नीड कॉन्स्ट असिंक हैंडलर असिंक हैंडलर इज इक्वल टू रिक्वायर 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 वॉट इज एक्सप्रेस असिंक हैंडलर I think this user model also not need need it indeed. We need to think. Okay, let it be for now. So module module dot module dot exports is equal to a blank object for now. So first one is. create review so const create review is equal to async handler async handler async handler then async request response inside this try take try catch okay take try catch mm -hmm. then throw throw new error error so throw new error error after that so throw new error after that try so we need to create a review and here we need const const underscore id from request dot user after that validate okay const validate is equal to validate Mongo DB ID from what I'm doing is going to require dot dot slash config slash validate Mongo DB ID and use it here validate Mongo DB ID and pass underscore ID to here now const const review review equal to await await review dot review dot create review dot create review dot create okay let's see let get i equal to so first of all we have put review model we have user comment and color now go to review controller so user will be underscore id then review will be mm, Okay, sorry. Comment will be comment will be request dot body dot comment and then color will be request dot body dot color. Okay, request dot body dot color and pass this data here. okay after that response dot status 
dot json status true comma comma message will be review added successfully okay review added successfully now export it create review create error file reviews route dot js and here const review router is equal to require require express then dot router and call it then module dot exports is equal to sorry review router then review router dot post on slash comma auth middleware auth Okay. So const auth middleware comma is admin is equal to require dot dot slash middleware slash auth middleware. Okay. Then auth middleware comma is admin comma create review now open postman open postman and data folder let's say review model review model inside that add request post review and post base url then oh sorry we need to attach it with index.js so app.use slash api slash review comma review router now review and paste it okay npm run dev and send the request so there is no token go to authorization bearer token send the request review dot created okay go to review control sorry it's create send the request validation comment path is required okay comment path is required so let's check oh sorry we need to pass the body now so body row json so comment will be hello comma color will be hashtag one two one two one two send the request so we read it successfully save it let me close all of these requests now second thing what we will do is delete our review oh one thing i have done wrong go to review control where is that review control okay review routes is admin is not needed anyone can post reviews so next thing is go to review control control okay copy paste make it get all 
reviews here we don't need any id and review fetched successfully then review dot find review dot find and remove this data and comma review now export it get all review copy paste so we have get all instead of get all do get a review get a review and const review is equal to await review dot find the so const id is equal to request dot params so with the help of params we will get the id and here find by id and pass the id then review okay so this is how you can get a review comma get a review after that copy paste so get a review now we need a review so we need the id find by id and delete review delete it successfully and okay now delete it delete our review so get all get a review this is done okay one thing we need to add so whatever whatever a user will post the review so do one thing go to review model is um, what we can so is approved is approved by default it will be type boolean type boolean then mm, default it will be false so without admin approval that particular review will not will not mm, will okay will not visible to the user so do one thing go to mongoose okay we have reviews deleted okay delete create a review again now check so is approved false so is approved false now let's create routes for that okay create review get all the reviews get a review delete a review this is fine now move to review routes <laughs> so review router dot get on slash comma get all get all the reviews then review router dot review router dot delete so slash and pass the id comma auth middleware is admin only admin can delete the route okay comma Mm -hmm. okay comma delete a review or after that we have review router dot get id 
then comma get a review so only admin can get a review so auth middleware auth middleware comma is admin okay now one thing is pending go to review control delete get a get all post copy this control c and paste it so delete our review here we need to change update review status so we need the id find by id and update update comma what we need to update is is approved is approved from request dot body dot is approved and new true new true okay so review dot find by update so this will be review update review update successfully okay now comma update review status go to review control mm. go to review control oh sorry this is the review control now go to routes and here review router dot put id comma both middleware comma is admin comma okay is admin comma update Update review status. So both middleware admin admin admin. Okay, this will be the delete request. Now create a request, add request. Let's say get all reviews. So here base URL review okay review dot find status is not a function review control let me check get travel review oh sorry response dot status now send the request so here we are getting one review okay this is fine now here also response dot status response dot status response dot status okay so create a route create a request add request this will be a get a request sorry get a review get a review so this will be a get request base url let's get all the reviews copy the id get a review so review slash send the request there is no token authorization we are a token send the request so here we have the single review now one thing we need to do go up and get all the reviews get all the reviews find dot find dot populate what we need to populate user now try to send the request so here we have the user details now same we need to do for this dot populate what we need to populate user okay now get a review send the request this is also done add request so this will be the put base URL review and 
go to body row json inside this is approved let's say true send the request there is no token authorization here are token send the request we will get it successfully now here currently it is false now it is true so when it is true it will be visible to the other users so this is also done now next thing is add a request if user sorry if admin find that review is not like able to like review is not perfect to show to the viewers so delete review and here paste url review slash and this will be the delete request so there is no token all things are working fine and delete so this is how you can delete a review so save it now we are done with review we are done with newsletter functionality we are done with tutorial model functionality tutorial category so next thing is contact us close let's create a model which is contact model dot js so inside contact model mdb generate user model okay let instead of user create it contact make it contact okay then we have password okay name is needed email is needed email is needed mobile is needed let's say comment is needed comment is needed name email mobile and subject is also needed and there is one more thing profession profession copy type string paste it paste it so this is our contact schema name email mobile subject profession comment and comma timestamps will be true okay now create one file oh shit move create a file contact ctrl dot js now let's fast these things so go to review control copy and paste move up control f search for review and change it to contact okay now go up where contact make this c capital is equal to model slash mm -hmm. contact model this is fine then create contact okay, this is also fine okay change this c this c also change this c also okay okay now go up so contact here we don't need the user we don't need to validate and we don't need this directly we will pass request dot body 
so response okay contact added successfully contact form submit it successfully now get all contacts so contacts fast successfully here we don't need this populate okay so contact dot find and one thing we need to do add a status so type will be string comma default it will be submitted okay default it will be submitted so create contact contact okay this is fine now get all contacts contact dot find get a contact remove this okay contact fetched now delete our contact okay contact deleted contact dot find by id now here we need to pass status status okay then request dot body dot status let's do one thing change this to inquiry copy paste 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 and paste now go to routes create routes so contact contact routes dot js and copy review routes copy paste search for review and change it to okay change now move move i think you can change to it oh sorry okay review ctrl this is fine out middle wire contact router now move to index.js copy let's say contact and this will be the contact router contact router now go to postman duplicate rename contact model inside open this rename post inquiry now open this request so contact okay go to body so here we need to send let me check the model name email mobile subject profession name email mobile subject profession and comment so comment also there let's say name name will be anything then email mail will be anything then mobile mobile will be anything for now then mm, profession profession will be anything for now okay after that subject 
let's say subject is anything for now send the request inquiry form submitted successfully after that so change it to get all inquiries so change this to contact and send the request so here we have all the inquiries save this close here change it get a inquiry and this will be contact and we need to pass the id so let's take a id from here copy and change this paste send the request we have this particular inquiry then we have okay paste change it to contact and this request will be update status update inquiry status go to body so here we need to send status so inquiry updated successfully if you refresh so we have context so by default it will be false now it is true okay go to postman mm -hmm. there is one problem i think why it is a string let me check the code contact control inquiry updated okay okay we'll check it later that it will so this is how you can update the inquiry status then let's say delete inquiry delete inquiry send so inquiry deleted now refresh we don't have any inquiry so here we are done with contact model also okay then so as we are done with we are done with tutorials okay then we are done with authentication then we are done with newsletter we are done with contact and okay so these all are the things that we have covered till now now let's move to popular topics so what are the popular topics first thing is that okay let's go to local industry projects youtube let's say npm run server let's move to local host i think 5000 or 4000 okay so these are the popular topics field okay or oh, i think even we don't need this now because here we have created tutorial category so we can close this it by default comes in tutorials and categories okay then next thing is videos so let's focus on videos so first of all what we need to do we need to create a video model dot js then const 
mongoose is equal to require mongoose okay then let video schema is equal to new mongoose dot schema and here timestamps will be true timestamps will be true and module dot exports module dot exports is equal to module dot export mongoose dot model then video comma video schema okay now let's create start schema so first of all we have title type string type string then require true require true in this all whole project you will learn how to create seo friendly website okay so second thing will be select select so type string then required required true after that we have thumbnail thumbnail so type type will be string default will be blank for now or oh, i think we have given a tutorial model now root category model copy this paste it for now okay we have we have taken title select thumbnail okay next thing is description so type string comma type will be string required true after that we have video underscore url so type string comma required true after that we have keywords keywords so type will be a array and required will be true required will be true so keywords video url and i think that's it so this is our video model now go to controllers video control dot js so here we need to do const video is equal to require dot dot slash model slash video model then second thing is const async handler is equal to require express async handler then we have validate const validate mongodb id is equal to require so dot slash dot dot slash config slash validate mongodb id okay then let's module 
dot exports is equal to a blank object for now. First of all, create or post video post post video is equal to async handler async then let's say try catch try catch and throw throw new error new error and pass the error and here const video equal to video equal to await video dot create request dot body okay then response dot status 200 dot json inside that status will be row comma message will be video posted successfully okay this we need to do this is response not resize okay so before this i need to do one thing so if request dot body dot title then request dot body dot select is equal to selectify request dot body dot title dot to lower case to lower case okay this thing i need to check in all files the newsletter Review is not needed. Let agree dot to lower case. There is the update function dot to lower case. This is fine. Okay, find my update. Where is that? Okay, at the time of posting, we are also doing this. Now we have tutorial control dot to lower case dot to lower case here also dot to lower case okay so this is our post video ready now cons let's go slash less get a video get a video so cons get video is equal to async handler async handler async request response so here take try catch throw new error pass the error and const video is equal to await video dot find y id get a video video dot find by why not find by id find one so here so const select is equal to request dot params we are going to find it with the help of select so slug and pass this slug here then response dot status 200 comma json so status will be true then message will be video found after that pass video so this is what you have to do to get a video 
सेकेंड थिंग इज गेट ऑल वीडियोज तो कॉन्स्ट गेट ऑल वीडियोज इज इक्वल टू अवेट सॉरी असिंक हैंडल असिंक रिक्वेस्ट रेस्पॉन्स ओके वी नीड टू गेट ऑल द वीडियो सो टेक ट्राई कैच and simply do one thing copy and paste it so here video dot find and make it blank so response dot status 200 videos found and remove no video it needed na we need to show to the user so this is the one thing then delete a uh, video so copy this one paste delete video mm. with the help of sala group so we can do no problem so video dot oh sorry we need id also. id then here we will use find by id and delete and pass id so here we will show video deleted and remove this video from here so cons delete video okay yeah so next thing is go up copy this update a video test so update video here we need id from params id is equal to request dot params and one thing i forgot validate mongo db id and pass the id okay then here also validate mongo db and pass the id so here what we are doing is update video if we have the title then we need to slugify then cons video is equal to await video dot find by id and update first of all we need to pass the id that we got from request dot perhaps then comma new proof okay and respond dot json video updated successfully so these are all the things now go to video model of the video url we have description thumbnail select title and we have the keywords now go to routes create video routes dot js and here const video router is equal to require require express dot router okay require express dot router after that module dot exports is equal to video router and then video router dot post so on slash we will make our post functionality so post video post let me check the name or oh, one thing i forgot we need to export it so post video comma get video comma get all video comma delete video then update video now move to video routes so post video after that video router dot get so to get a single we need slug comma 
one thing I forgot here also. Go up. I don't know why I'm not getting it. So post auth middleware comma is admin is equal to require dot dot slash middleware slash auth middleware so here auth middleware comma is admin is admin and here so we have the we don't need anything directly get video then video router dot get this is for all comma get all videos then video router dot delete here we need the id comma delete video after that video router dot put so here also we need the id comma auth middleware is admin make sure it's in this series first of all we need to check that user is logged in or not after that we have to check if it is admin or not okay so update video now move to index.js here copy create video router and this will be api slash video now open postman and run the server npm run dev so our server is started the one thing simply make the duplicate and rename it video model so first one is post post video and here video so here we need the authorization okay it's already added now json so change this comment to title so let's say title is hello for now then we have description then we have video underscore url i think let me check go to video model so title we have description video underscore url thumbnail we don't need keywords we need so go to postman and here keywords and remove these two this also and we have the array of keywords video url we have description we have title we have send the request authorization okay login again we need to login again because token is not found there so login send the request we have the token now move to environment and paste it here okay now let's close all these things the changes okay now try to push reference request is not defined okay let me check go to video route request is not defined this is it post video if request dot body dot title oh sorry here request comma response we need to pass now send the request 
false description path description is required okay description send the request so video posted successfully now if i open mongodb compass select this connect and now move to lms we have these videos and we have this data okay so now let's move to the next thing which is get all videos get all videos do one thing save this and close it so this request will go to video and send the request so we have all the video data okay then save it oh and the request again copy the id copy the id now move to get inquiry so this will be get a video so video slash this and send the request so uh, uh, copy oh sorry how we have to find the video is with the help of slug to get a video don't need the id send the request so we here we have this video now go to update video so update video video slash this now go to post video copy this data and go to body go to okay paste it so here i am doing hello one two three send the request here also request will be fine okay I copied it now from post video so request response now send the request so video updated successfully now if you get a video send the request so here we have hello one two three now let's move to delete so delete video so this will be video so less this id and direct send the request so video deleted so this is all about our video model now let's move to canva and here we are done with videos card after that we will move to this documentation card okay so one controller here documentation documentation model dot js oh sorry paste it here let me close all the files so inside this let or simply you can do const mongoose is going to require mongoose mongoose is going to require mongoose so after that let dog schema is equal to is equal to new mongoose dot schema and here times times will be true okay then module dot exports is equal to mongoose dot model let's say docs doc comma doc schema now here We need the title so title type string 
title type string required true okay required true after that we have select so this is also the same then we have author so this is also same and we have pass default developers corner default developers corner then we have content this is also same then we have keywords keywords let's say type array required will be true so we have title slug author content and in case image sorry top underscore image will be type string comma default we need to pass so moto video model copy pass okay so we have the doc image keyword content one thing i forgot is type and here copy and paste okay so these all are the fields in our document schema so now close this create a file docctrl.js doc controller.js do one thing photo video control c and paste it control f search for video and change it to doc okay now here we need to change is equal to require documentation model then we have a sync handler okay copy paste paste and paste same here paste Paste now move to first. So const post doc is equal to async handler. Okay, if we have the title, then we need to slugify it. If we have the title, then we need to slugify it. Okay, and here make doc post it successfully. Okay, this is done now. Then second get doc. So this is also the same doc dot find one and here doc found and then get all docs doc dot find docs found after that we have delete docs that we will get from id docs deleted update doc we have the same thing okay so export it also now go to routes and create doc routes dot js so let's save the time here paste and wherever we have video change it to doc doc Okay, and 
here it will be documentation control controller you can say now move to index.js so this is how simple we have to create apis doc and here doc router doc router uh oh we got the error let me check cannot find okay documentation let me check oh sorry it will be top control now it is fine now go to postman duplicate it open and here we will create top model save save and save now top model close this also open so instead of this let me check what i have done go to next of js okay dog so change it to dog go to body so title we have instead of description we need to make content then remove this we have keywords okay author we are taking by default okay we have the type okay let me check the model mm, where is the documentation model title select type we are taking content keyword okay now send the request so dog posted successfully same we have to do here okay save it oh, one thing i forgot post doc this will be get all docs and doc send the request we have the doc now copy this select now here this will be get a doc so doc slash pass the slug we have the particular slug save it save it now go to update so doc slash copy this id mm, copy this id and pass it here now go to post doc copy go to body paste let's say i am doing i am changing this content send the request it's updated now again send the request here also it is updated now second thing is copy and rename it update doc okay here also delete doc and change this and send the request so doc deleted so this is all about our documentation okay now we have work with us blogs okay post check overflow we need time blogs we can continue so blog is the thing it's same like copy mm. or oh, do one thing copy video model control c paste it rename make it blog model okay blog model there is one more thing that we need to add which is blog category or 
same we need to do for top category or i think so new let me check digital option first i have checked no. digital option let's say open this go to community we have the tutorials we have let's say popular topics python okay so here we need the category also so no worries create one more model first block cat model dot js and block cat model dot js okay so inside dog cat we don't have to do anything simply we need to take so const title and all so mongodb sorry not mongodb mongoose is going to require require mongoose okay then model.exports is equal to mongoose dot model let's say dog dog cat comma dog cat schema and here let dog cat schema dog cat schema is equal to new mongoose dot schema new mongoose dot schema and pass time stamps will be true here we need to take the title okay type string type will be string required will be true required will be true okay yeah only this we need so same we need for block attack go to block attack the paste change this block to block to block and here block add okay so this is done now create two controllers so block add block add controller one minute tutorials python okay no problem so here what we will do is let's say copy this do and then delete it first finish documentation related so doc pet controller.js mm. moto tutorial category control copy and come here and paste it update to get so here we have to let's change this to top cat and this will from models less top cat model now change let's say tutorial to talk doc and instead of dude also we need to show 
Talk. Okay, now go up. Copy. So post talk category. If we have the title, then we are not specifying it. Simply do this. So do category created successfully. This is done. Get all do categories. Okay. Paste. This is also done. Get a do category. Okay. This is also done. Now delete a doc category this is also done here we need to remove this and change this okay so post doc category update a doc get this is also fine now go to documentation model so, okay here we need to Select category category will be type string and required required to pass the comma. Okay. So this we need to do now create routes. So talk get routes dot js simply do one thing copy and paste it so if we have the door change this to okay now post Look at routes, look at control. So post to category, that is okay. Post to remove this and same post to category. Okay, that all. So it will go to slash. So cat control both middleware. I think all things are fine. Now change stock to T small. Go to index dot chase. So comment so less category. Okay. And here change this to top cat. And let me check. Okay, now move to index.js and save it. So now here we are getting mm. error. Let me check. Mm. Let me check the error. The dog that router is not defined. Dog that router is not defined. Let me check. Go to dog that route. Where is that? Here. It's defined now. Dog that router. Oh, sorry. Here also we need to change. Let's make it dog cat router. Okay. So, what we need to do is inside post, here we have to add category also. Category also. Let's say ABCD for whatever we have. 
you have to queue send the request and then go to mongodb let's check the data so go to documentation refresh docs refresh it okay we have type we have category okay so after that what we need to do is go to postman duplicate it duplicate rename top category top category model and here post doc category post doc category doc slash category slash open body remove all these things and send the request unexpected token remove it then send the request again route not found now move to index.js api doc category api slash doc slash category let me check doc slash category why it is not found copy this and paste it wait copy paste and send the request still not found let me check app to use less api doc category fine then move to doc pet routes oh it's post so now send the request so doc category created now get all doc categories so docs less category send the request doc null okay doc found but doc null let me check so less doc but all doc categories okay go to doc category control doc cat dot found okay all doc cat now let me check the model refresh okay here we have docs we have the one now docs less category get requests and but data is null why it is null okay till then check get a doc category after that we will check this one so doc slash category slash hello hello send the request this id is not valid or not found this id okay go to doc get routes is doc get routes okay what's the problem here doc get control doc get doc get to find all doc get 
we are sending the id okay here we need to do here we need to pass nug or with the help of id also we can get nug let it do that now pass the select it will help with us for seo okay go to here pass slug send the request id is not found okay go to docket routes docket control see this is the result of if we copy and paste the things okay i copied and i stuck and in case if i do myself then i will not stuck so these are the main problems we still do get not found okay now move to db it's hello okay make it title now send the request so here we have the one category that we have to found now move to get all doc categories a sync handler okay const all doc cat all doc cat doc cat dot find doc cat okay doc cat dot find now move to postman is giving null okay let it be so here we are getting one category now focus on update so doc category slash id and here update doc category update doc category and send the request okay go to body remove this paste to send the request unexpected token remove the comma send the request it is updated now copy this again delete okay remove this send the request it is deleted successfully check the db we don't have any data now again create and refresh we have one doc category then again let's check the code now for get all doc categories so here what we are doing is can const doc cat dot find okay this is fine then response dot status okay json old doc cat we are getting null okay now move to Dog get routes. So dog get router dot get on slash get all dog categories. Get all dog categories. Remove this. Okay, but data is not coming only. Now try to send the request till null. Why it is null? Do one thing. Close all the unwanted files. Okay. This we don't need. We have this model. Then we have the routes. So cat control rest are running only. This is not working. Now that all no categories this is also fine okay const all dog cat is going to await dog cat dot find <laughs> all dog cat Do 
something log or dog pet and check whether what we are getting okay we are not getting anything because it's not coming here so this we got it now to do get routes to get router Let's do one thing remove this paste it here right still malia by it is log yes and the request maybe CS is also not coming what can be the problem how many top that don't find async handler async request response remove this send the request getting dog found dog oh dog category we have Category, category, dog category, dog category. So here, yeah, what is happening? I got it. Do one thing. Go to dog pet routes. Change this like all. Do all here. Category slash all. Now send the request. Now you will get the data. So it's happening because of our routes. Send the request and we have the data. Okay. So what is happening here? If you go to doc tutorial with where we have doc routes, see here we are taking is as a slug. Okay. And so it's confused. So whether is this route or that route so that that's why it is confused here so that's why i change this to all and then we get the data okay so this is all you have to do for category creation for documentation rename it category okay so this i have done for look at routes now we are done with look at routes so now we have to do block at routes so go to block at model so we are done with block at agree model also now create a file inside controllers which will be block at ctrl ctrl dot js okay copy this one control a c paste it here now control f search for top so where we have top change it to block okay now go up this one you have to do is small we have the block cat post block cat okay block cat these all things are fine 
of the data blocked. Okay. Now same. Go to routes and create block that routes dot js. Copy block that routes and paste in block that routes and change it to all and do one thing change this p to small okay fine now here this p is small now move to index.js copy this change this block to block and here block add go to last and press enter okay this you have to do let's create block model also same time so we don't have to come again and copy and paste and all the things block model dot js I think I have already created so already we have the block model then change it to block schema here also block schema and let's say categories video URL here also pass the category this category we need to do for all. we need to create for all so type string paste it give comma so we have the title we have the select we have the category some nail for blog description we have remove this video url only okay and change this to blog so we have removed only video url so now do one thing create a controller blog ctrl.js now copy video controller and paste it in blog one now search for video first and click on here okay now it will take only capital letters and change it to blog 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 okay this we need to do now make it small b and this one will be small b change it to all okay now remove this change it again now go up so we have block model this is fine okay let's say if we have video Then we need to change it to blogs. Okay. Blogs found. Blog found. Okay. All set to here. Now mm, update blog with request on body dot type Look, this is also fine now create routes so blog routes dot js and copy video routes or paste it remove this instead of blog 
चेंज इट टू लोग राउटर लोग राउटर यर पोस्ट लोग देन बेट लोग देन वी हैव बेट लोग्स डिलीट लोग then we have update blog all set till here now go to index.js copy it this will go to api slash blog and remove this blog router okay now move to post and make it duplicate rename it so this one will be look at remodel open it okay let me close all the files save and close it so first of all let's say blog slash category go to body send the request so blog category created successfully rename it instead of top create blog and save it now here also blog and that all block categories send the request so still we are getting null let me check because i think we have the same problem for block slash category okay let it be we will check later so we have created a block now we have created a block category okay i think here we need to pass the block slash category let it be so check block difference it so here you have the block category let me check the routes block get routes to get a single we need a slug so get a dog category instead of this create block less category so less hello and the request we have one category then mm, blog copy the id and paste it the title will be hello to send the request it's updated now it's time to delete it copy let's edit this name also update block category rename this also get a block category and same time rename this also delete block category come here paste it send the request and it's deleted okay so this is the one thing after that let's check why we are not not getting all the block categories i think there also we have the same oh sorry it will go to all send the requests oh all black categories blank still blank okay oh because i deleted now send the request get the request get all the block categories so this is what we have to do for delete block category update block category get a block category and get all black categories so 
next thing what we have to do duplicate it and rename it change it to log model open it rename sorry delete it and now rename post blog open it will go to blog and let's check body so we are passing title content category let me check the blog model so we have description keywords categories title description change this to description and remove this type by need to remove the type send the request so it is blog posted successfully close it now rename it get all blogs open so blog send the request we have all the blogs save it then rename it get a blog and copy the slug slash send it so we have the particular slug save it then what we need to do we need to update it copy the id here blog slash id rename it update blog go to post blog copy go to body paste let's say change the description and change the title also send the request so here we have blog updated successfully and then delete it save it rename it and delete it so block deleted so in this video we have done till now block category block category block model doc model then video model i think video model same we have to do for video categories so go to model video cat model dot js copy and paste change this block to video cat schema and same here video cat so only we need the title only we need the title so this is fine now video cat okay I think it's fine if we create slug also. Yeah, it's fine if we create slug also. Copy, paste. Same we have to do for block cat model. Slug. Paste. Let me copy the whole and go category. Paste. Okay. Now, first of all, move to block cat control. So, post block category. If request dot body dot title, then what we need to do is request dot body dot slug equal to slugify. 
request select the file request dot body dot title okay same copy okay here we are getting with the help of select so with the help of select itself we will find it and paste it here copy this control c same do for do pet control if we have the title we need to selectify and if we want to search then we will search with the help of select and if we want to update then we need to update this also okay now do one thing go to routes first of all below get routes okay we are using slug itself then do get routes we are using this itself now okay here we are done with video cat model we have the select now go to controllers create a file video cat control.js copy copy the blog one and paste into here okay let's say if we have blog b change it to video so we will find on the capital ones okay i think all are the capitals okay now go up so block video cat instead of this video cat model video cat model this is fine then let's check the post video category okay this is fine this is also fine this is also fine this is fine okay now go to routes create video cat routes dot js copy the block cat routes paste it in here and change it to so okay now search for small b and make it this okay so now all set go to index.js here video slash category and here let's say video get router okay duplicate it rename this will be video category model and one more thing we need to do go to video model and add category also so type will be string and paste it okay this is also fine now next thing we have to do is <clears throat> okay let's create the postman collection for that open first of all let's rename all the things video copy it control c rename paste rename it then rename paste rename paste rename 
sorry no need that duplicate rename it what i'm doing oh rename okay now video body send the request it's done then again video send the request it's also done so here also video category hello save this is also done now video save it copy the id copy id paste it here go to body change it this is done save all copy save it change it send the request okay so this is what we have to do so next thing is okay if we need more apis now then we will create at the same time when we implement it with our front end okay so next thing what we have to do is let's check what all is done so here we are done with video we are done with i think blogs and we are done with blogs we are done with documentation we are done with video color okay so in next video first of all problem card policies and project one two three four five and six let me write what all are the pending Take test okay Upload functionality is pending. Then courses slash categories is pending. Project and categories. Okay. These two need payment gateway also. Last payment gateway. Then we have courses. Okay. Then we have project that is also fine. Then problems. Problems categories we need to create and problems regard related to them okay four things so payment gateway will cover here we don't have to need it again after that work with us and book a session after that job portal functionality we need to do need to do so these all are the topics pending let me check job one click then book a session then work with us we have problems 
पेमेंट गेटवे एंड दिस विल कवर हियर कोर्स कैटेगरी प्रोडक्ट रेंज पेमेंट गेटवे देन अपलोड फंक्शनलिटी सो फॉर अपलोड फंक्शनलिटी वी आर गोइंग टू यूज ए डब्ल्यू एस स्टोरेज ओके सो ओके लेट्स सी नेक्स्ट so next what we are going to do is we are going to create upload functionality then we will move to these other topics so now we are moving to courses okay so today we are going to complete this course category creation then we have multiple courses on particular category and in a particular course we have multiple lessons so let's start so first of all what i'm going to do is let me close all the files first okay so inside this auth middleware here we will create so const is both is equal to async handler Async request response next. This middleware I am creating because, like admin and instructor, both can upload the courses. So that's why I am creating this middleware. So email is equal to request dot user. We will get the email from request dot user. So here we will check const. const is both equal to await user dot find one user dot find one so how we will find with the help of email okay if we have the user if is both is both dot roles not equal to equal to admin or or mm. or or is both dot roles let's say not equal to equal to instructor if there is no role from both of them then throw new error new error you should you should have either admin role or instructor role instructor role okay otherwise next okay now export it is both now create a file in models let's say course model first go for course category model dot js inside here we will create const mongoose set not this mongoose is equal to require mongoose then let course Course get schema equal to new mongoose dot schema. Inside that we have the name or like the title. We have the title. Okay, we have the title. So title type will be string. required will be true 
after that we have the slug so slug is also the same type string required true and time stamps true module dot exports equal to module dot export equal to course category schema so this is how you will create the category of courses now go to controllers create course get control dot js now copy this and to go to course cat paste it do control f let's say we have the blog 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 okay search for blog instead of this blog we need to change it to course c o u r s s t okay go to model we have course Slash course category model now course okay post course okay course get course 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 let me change all okay so this is we have to do now go to course category or sit here export module dot export mongoose dot model inside model we have course get course get and pass this course category schema okay now move to course get control let me check course get okay course course category okay this is fine this is also fine all course category update course category yeah so all things are ready now go to routes create course get course get routes dot js open block category routes copy and paste so same thing you have to do okay change this path controller slash or get control we have the both middleware instead of this okay here we need is both okay is both so for let's change this also this will be the course course get router so let's move to course get router dot post route so auth middleware is needed is both okay is both and post category route now move to index.js so app dot use slash course slash category okay then course get router course get router this is done now open postman and open mongodb also let's check if it is working so first of all what we will do is we have this block category model or you copy this make the duplicate of this duplicate now rename so this one will be the course category model inside this rename change this course to okay post 
course category okay open this let me close all of this so first of all what we need to do mm, okay login a user oh sorry i forgot to run the server so my server is started send the request we have the token copy it go to environments and change it okay after that post course category authorization is selected body let's say we have this one course category oh one thing i forgot go to course category module unique unique true same select will be unique true okay this thing we have to do for this also this also now course category done document category okay then we have cute category unique unique okay video category this one should be unique okay video category done tutorial category done then document category done then blog category done and currently we are on course category so it should be unique send the request so we have oh sorry we need to change the route course category send the request route not found okay let me check okay close all of this course cut control course cut routes index.js we have okay course category then we have course cut routes okay route not found let me check router dot post course what i have right here C O R S C okay API course category C O U R S the oh sorry here we need to add API okay then send the request so it is saying you should have either admin role or instructor role so let me check connect so go to lms we have users okay i think i am login with let me check go to login a user body nd at the red gmail.com ND at the rate gmail.com. Okay, so this is done now. Go to middleware, fourth middleware. So, what I have written is is both admin dot roles. Okay, instructor. What we can do here is okay, is both the roles not equal to admin? Okay one 
let me check what we are getting here copy paste now send the request go to message true if it is true oh not equal to equal to admin If you put equal to goals, goals, let's try this. So, course category. So, what you have to do is here you have to give this condition now. Okay, do control Z and now wrap it equal to equal to false okay equal to equal to false after that so again i tried okay we have the duplicate gate key now go to mongodb compass we have refresh this course categories we have this one category delete it and go to post when send the request again so we have successfully created the course category after that okay close this also come here so we have this now change this to is both is both okay so after that we have course that all categories so get all course categories let me check all the request so rename it get all course categories okay close this and close this also now focus here so we have course course category all send the request so we have this category after that let's move to this request rename it so get a course category and come here save it change this video to course send the request we have the particular category save it now move to update rename update course category update course category send the request copy the id paste the id go to body hello to send the request course, course category updated now again copy this rename rename course and paste it send the request it's deleted okay so course cares course category creation done deletion done updation done particular category getting done and get all course category done okay so now let's move to course schema or you can say course model so go to models create a file course model dot js okay then const mongoose is going to require mongoose okay 
then module dot exports equal to mongoose dot model dot model course comma course schema so const core schema core schema equal to new mongoose dot schema and here we have timestamps timestamps true okay timestamps true so first of all we will take title inside title we have type string okay type string mm, frame true then we have let's say minimum length min length will be three or you three then we have max length max length will be let's say 350 for now after that we have required true required will be true then select select will be type string type string then required true type string required true after that we have description description and inside the description we have type string type string and we have required required to copy this let's say minimum length 3 and max it will go till 5000 okay max it will go till 5000 then we have price price type number default it will be 0 okay default it will be 0 Mm, default it will be zero then let's say after that we have inside of course we have images so type images oh, not images image type string default it will be to blog copy this go to course model paste it okay then we have after image we have category so type type string and required true required true required true then mm, we have the category we have image price descriptions luck after that we have published published so type this type will be boolean default it will be false okay default it will be false after that let's say paid paid okay ratings I think let it be for now. 
in next phase we will do this so we have enrolls total hours let me check if i can do something more enrolls total hours mm. or let's add this functionality also so what we will do is ratings inside ratings mm -hmm. so rating is a array here we have type copy this type okay posted by we have the type do one thing add all this in we have star stars it will be a number then we have comment if any it will be a string okay string then post it by it will be a okay remove this required then we have total rating total ratings total ratings inside this type number type number required will be true okay what i missed is oh sorry not here after this so let me check we have title select description price image category published or not paid or not instructor we have lessons we have total hours <laughs> okay i think that's it yeah I think that's it for now. Okay. So this is how you have to create your course model. Now let's do one thing side by side create lesson model dot js lesson model dot js. <laughs> now go to course model. Let me check where lessons is. Okay. Change this to lesson. Now move to lesson model. So const mongoose is equal to require mongoose. Then module dot exports module dot exports mongoose dot model mongoose dot model mm, lesson comma lesson schema lesson schema after that const lesson schema is equal to new mongoose dot schema mongoose dot schema so first of all we have the title we have the title so type type will be string type will be string and required will be true and unique will be true unique should be true min length will be Min length will be mm -hmm. 
let's say three max length will be max length will be 350 or type required we have unique we have trim will be true then then we have select we have the select okay type string comma required true type string required true then we have inside the lesson we have content content okay Inside the lesson we have content let's say type will be object and min length will be 200 sorry type will be string okay then we have video for the particular lesson so it will be type string we will change this as per the response in future whatever we will get from like aws now so we will change it so free preview type boolean type boolean default it will be false and final timestamps will be true so this is all about our lesson model title we have select we have content we have video link we have and if it is for free preview then we have the free preview also okay so this is all about our lesson schema so now let's focus on the course creation so create a controller which one will be course controller.js inside this let's const course is equal to require dot dot slash models slash course model then we need course async handler is going to require express async handler then we need mongodb validation so const validate mongodb id mongodb id is equal to require require dot dot slash config slash validate mongodb id <coughs> then module dot exports equal to a blank object so slash less create a course create a course so const create course equal to async handler async request response inside that take try and catch side catch we have to pass the error and throw new error if there are any pass the error so who can create this course either admin or either instructor so we need the id const id is equal to why we need this here here we don't need 
so that we will do with the middleware so const force equal to await await force dot create and response dot status response dot status 200 dot json so status will be true comma message will be force created force created successfully and I think that's it so this is done force dot create and pass the request dot body okay <coughs> let's try this so create course now create a route create routes so course routes dot js so const course router is equal to require express then dot router and call it okay this is done now next thing what we need is okay do one thing module dot exports is equal to what course router and course router dot post if we have the post request on less comma mm, auth okay verb const auth middleware comma is both is equal to require dot dot slash middleware slash both middleware so first of all it should be logged in then is both then create course okay now go to index.js so app dot use slash api slash course okay and give course router okay there is an error type string where course model go to course model let me check mm, where is that string string this one change it to big one okay now duplicate it rename it so course model inside model rename it again this will be the post course okay copy cop sorry close remove this category authorization is done body inside body let me check what all or the things we need it so we have the title oh one thing i forgot to do go to course control and here if request dot body dot title then request dot body dot request dot body dot slug equal to request dot body dot slug equal to slugify slugify request dot body dot title dot to lower case okay and then we have to save it 
now let's check what all the things okay we need the description we have the title already you description let's say anything for now then we have mm, do one thing then we have price so price will be let's say 500 comma we have image is default we need the category category let's say category will be hello for now comma mm, then we have published is by default paid is by default instructor is by default we need the instructor here okay so okay let it be we have lessons required to remove this required to total hours default it will be zero enrolls default it will be zero okay this is fine total ratings default it will be zero okay so these all the changes you need to do now go to course control here what we have to do const underscore id from where request dot user and what we need to do if we have underscore id then request dot instructor instructor will be underscore id if we have this id then and here we will validate mongodb id and pass underscore id okay so title price category description is done now check title description price category instructor we will get from underscore id user okay send the request send the request okay instructor instructor let me check course control oh sorry request dot body dot now send the request course created successfully go to mongodb compass refresh we have the courses so here you guys can see we have title select price image category publish false paid false instructor details inside lessons we don't have anything total hours or we have a rating array so this is how you have to create a course next thing what we will do is let's say copy paste or leave it const get all courses get all courses is equal to async handler async request response and then take try catch and inside try catch throw new error error so const course is equal to await course dot find and then response dot status 200 dot json status will be true message will be all courses all courses patched 
and then pass courses so anyone can get all the courses okay anyone can get all the courses so anyone can get all the courses but not like that what we will do is let's open the udemy and let's check whatever we have the explore the collection because you watch this okay top courses in mongodb top courses in web development okay remove this mm, one thing we can do okay so const select or pass category let's take slug also slug only so slug type is equal to request dot params and find let's say category and pass this type so based on the category we will we can find the courses here all courses fast for particular category at all courses <laughs> okay do one thing make this by category or we have a simple api so where we will do get all categories only get all sorry courses remove this here we don't need anything remove this when we create our front end that time we will check how we need the data and that time we will discuss so let it be after that const update course equal to async handler async request response okay how you will update the course so first of all you need the id from request dot params then take try catch so inside here throw new error error and here const course equal to await await course dot find by id find by id and update pass the id then we have request dot body and after that new true and response dot status status will be 200 dot json so status true comma message course updated course updated course updated and then we have the course details all let it we don't need to show so this is about update course then copy this paste it 
the late course id we need find by id and delete we have to pass only the id course deleted deleted okay export get all course category by category get all courses then we have update course then we have delete a course okay one thing i forgot we have done update we have done delete we have done creation and here const get a course equal to a sync handler a sync request response then take try fetch so here throw new error paste it so how you will get the const with the help of select so select is equal to request dot params request dot params and request dot params request dot params after that const const course equal to await course dot find course dot find find one how we need to find is with the help of slug and then copy paste course fetch and pass this course here now go down data course now go to course routes let's create the routing so first of all course, course router dot get slash let's say with type comma get all courses by categories then course router dot get slash all comma get courses get all courses then course router dot get you want only the one pass slug 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 comma get a course there can be one problem make this all as okay courses we do like this then there can be a problem it will be confused so how to find the course Course how to find get a course with the help of slug we can find okay now get all courses by category do one thing Oh, this one we will get all and we will categorize it you can remove get all course by categories okay so we have course routes all get all courses okay and then course router dot delete so slash we need to pass the id comma 
we need the out middleware comma is both comma let's say delete a course delete course then router sorry course router dot put Less ID, there can be some changes in future, guys. So, course router, both middleware we need, then is both we need, then delete codes. Now, rename this get all courses and open this remove this category from here and send the request we have all the courses after that copy save it close this for now we need a course one thing we have done wrong copy the slug now move this Send the request via the course, rename it, get a course, save, now copy the ID, cause in updation and deletion we need the ID, update course, so, mm -hmm. update course, open it, remove this, less paste the id go to body go post copy then update let's say change this look this is update course not after don't put oh sorry guys update course i forgot to change this now do one thing post get copy the id paste the id send the request course updated now copy it rename it and change it send the request the course needed so we have then get all courses get a course okay after that one thing we can also do one more thing we can do so get particular instructor courses equal to a const equal to so async handler async request response then we have request response here we need const underscore id from request dot user then take try catch try catch inside here throw new error and pass the error so we need to find const courses is equal to await course dot find by id find by id not by id find one not find one find so how we need to find this go to course model we have the instructor So we have the instructor, instructor 
and pass underscore id so here we need to do validate mongodb id underscore id copy it paste it and again copy and paste here also <coughs> okay So this is all we have to do here. Nice. So let me check this API. Add a request. This will be a get request. Oh, one thing I forgot. Get a particular instructor courses. Now, mm -hmm. course routes. So, here, course router dot get. There we have instructor less all dash courses comma out middleware. I think instructor out middleware is. Both bypass is both okay. Then we have that that particular instructor course okay. Copy base URL course less this and the request request not found okay instructor slash all dash courses check course less instructor slash all dash courses I just added now Outer dot get all mm -hmm. dash courses. Do one thing. This is here. API course instructor all dash courses. Okay, course router dot get is fine. Oh, I forgot to give the slash. Send the request. There is no token. Then pass the token, and it's stuck. Let me check. Not spiral record. Okay, we don't have anything, but. The request okay. Let me check course control that particular. So, course. Oh, sorry, copy the status response dot status JSON courses bound. And then pass courses. Send the request again. So we don't have any courses. Why? Let me check. Go to user model routes. Login. We have the new token. Copy it. Now go to 
requirements paste it paste it save now go to collections so get courses by instructor send the request courses found but no data course dot found okay course dot find instructor find by id find Course dot find 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 then we are giving got it. I think that's not the problem. Let me check. Open MongoDB. Okay, do one thing. Let's check log underscore ID here. What we are getting? Send the request again. So we have this ID. Fine. Then okay. Then what we need to do? So it's eight three D five. 83d5 it's available now why it is not find courses courses null validate course find null Okay, if I do find by ID and remove all this stuff, send the request. It's done now. Find course by ID. Course, we don't have anything. Find one. Will you find one only? Okay. Find one. Why it is not working? Instructor I want to score ID. Why it is blank? Oh. -oh. Okay, do one thing request dot user dot underscore id now send the request send the request we have this id Role admin we have underscore ID we have and why it is not giving the course. Let me check the instructor copy. So here what I am missing is I think give the dot 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 I think that's it okay now go to database we have the courses refresh fill it all and go to postman create a course 
reports created. Now we have the particular reports. Okay. Now we have the particular course. So what we are doing is inside course model we have to give mongoose dot schema dot types dot object id not schema types dot object id okay this thing i missed let me check in all modules if i've done something like this okay no there i have done documentation and in lesson okay so all fine so this is how you can get courses by instructor name or you can say instructor id so next thing is lesson creation creating lessons so do one thing okay create a controller let's say lesson controller dot js here we need const lesson is equal to lesson equal to mm, require and then dot dot slash model slash model slash which model lesson model and then we need const course course is equal to require require mm, dot dot slash model slash course model and after that we need const async handler is equal to require express async handler then we need const validate mongodb id is equal to require dot dot slash config slash mongodb id slash mongodb sorry not mongodb validate Mong validate mongodb id okay then module dot exports equal to a blank object const create lesson create lesson equal to async handler async handler then we have um, async request response try catch inside catch so new error and pass the error okay so first of all what we need is const um, course id course id we need then we need a course id we need is equal to request dot params okay request dot params then const find course find course is equal to um, await course dot find one course dot find one with the help of course id okay and for now log find course 
let's first check we are getting the course or not okay export it create lesson now move to let's add this all in not here do one thing let's move to course routes in course routes we have course routes where is yeah here then add lessons okay so course route uh, dot put sorry post slash lesson lessons less okay wait we'll go to slash course first of all what we pass is let me check the lesson control course id copy go to course routes so paste course less course id course id we need to paste paste and then lesson or do one thing less lessons less course id comma both middle where we need is both we need and create lesson we need now move to postman our requests are like so many requests we have add a folder lesson model inside lesson model add a request request will be post create lesson and then Base URL authorization, mirror token, body, row, JSON, and here we don't need to send anything for now. So slash okay, course slash lesson slash course ID we need to send. So get all courses copy this id and go to create lesson paste this send the request okay find one must be an object let me check course id then we have lesson control find one oh sorry this will be find by id now send the request okay so here if you go to last here we have a course now next thing what we have to do mm, if find course then we find course is there Otherwise, throw new error, throw new error, no course exists with this ID. If any case, it will come here. Then, if we find the course, okay, const lesson is equal to lesson equal to await await new lesson dot create request dot body and from here we will get the lesson id what we need to do 
find cause dot find cause dot so one thing await await cause dot find by id and update so parse the course id parse the course id then what we need to update is okay dollar push so lessons inside lesson lesson dot underscore id and after that new true i think okay push not here so next told v and then response dot json response dot status 200 dot json inside json status will be true then message will be lesson added to the course lesson added to the course and let's say pass lesson comma then we have find course detail let's try to send and see what okay status so here we are getting the course updating it let's check what we need in lesson model go to lesson model so here we need title content video title content video it's not required video is not required okay we need to send on the title title okay let's try to send so we have the title let's say introduction introduction then comma let's say send the video send the video and do this send the request lesson dot create is not a constructor let's check what's the problem lesson control Okay, lesson dot create lesson dot create oh sorry remove the new send the request pass log is required okay here if request dot body dot title then request dot body dot slug is equal to slugify request dot body dot title dot to lower case lower case okay now send the request send so our lesson added to the course let's check so we have this particular lesson but there is no lesson here okay do one thing mm, I think find course okay do one thing don't show it here because we need to call it again otherwise okay go to mongodb and refresh open lessons we have the one object ID inside our lesson 
so this is how you can create your course and this is how you can add your lesson to the particular course okay second thing is let's say const delete a lesson delete a lesson async and let the async request comma response try catch side here throw new error and pass the error okay so at the time of course of okay, deleting a lesson from both places we need to delete. From both places we need to delete it. So what we will do? Let's say we need the course ID and we need the lesson ID also. Okay, so const let's say course ID comma lesson ID is equal to course id we have lesson id request dot params okay then const find course is equal to await course dot find by id pass this course id same const find lesson lesson is equal to await lesson lesson dot find by id find by id and delete find by id and delete pass lesson id okay then response dot json response dot status 200 dot json dot json dot json status will be 200 comma message will be this so here what you have to do lesson related okay now here find by id and update so we have to find this course with the help of update sorry with the help of id course id then dollar pull we need to pull the lesson id from this lesson array so pull lessons and pass this lesson id after that comma new will be true okay new will be true now copy this course id lesson lesson id now move to course routes so course router dot delete not delete dot put so slash lesson slash course id comma sorry not comma slash lesson id comma both middleware is both then delete delete mm, let me check go to lesson control okay export this delete a lesson what to call route so here delete a delete a lesson okay do one thing drop this courses and drop this lessons and e s s 
points lessons now so now create the request so first of all create a course so now refresh where the course is okay copy this id create a lesson now pass the id send the request now we have the lesson refresh we have one lesson now go to postman mm, this request will be put or i think if we will do delete then we'll, this is also better delete so copy the course id copy the course id and then copy the lesson id pass send route not found because it's delete route still not found course less lesson let me check oh shit make it lesson so lesson deleted now refresh we don't have anything necessary and refresh we have this lesson collection but we don't have any data so this is how you can delete a lesson now okay this is done next thing what we can do is create a lesson okay get a lesson so const get a lesson is equal to async handler async comma sorry async request comma response then try catch take try catch and do one more thing validate mongodb id pass this course id and then again validate mongodb id pass lesson id okay so same here we need to do get a lesson okay course less first throw the error throw throw new error new error pass the error okay here we need const course id and lesson id course id and lesson id from request dot params from request dot params then const Mm, const course equal to sorry const lesson equal to lesson equal to await lesson dot find one lesson dot find one lesson dot find one so find one let's say how you can find a lesson mm -hmm. we have the particular course get a lesson get a lesson okay lesson id lesson and pass lesson id we need to create two say one minute we have the lesson on side is then this time Okay. 
Lesson dot find and response dot status. Let's do this now. We will check it later. If it will not work, dot JSON mm, status true comma message lesson found lesson found comma lesson okay now go to course routes so course router dot get get so we have slash lesson slash id comma both mm, middleware is both is both and then we need to export that comma get a lesson and go to post routes is both so this will be uh, get a get a lesson let's try if it will work so add a request get a lesson then we have base url course less lesson let me check the now lesss i know and lesss okay lesss on so less refresh we don't have any course so first of all we need to create okay create the lesson now go to courses we have this lesson copy and paste here a token we need this request will be sorry guys i have pasted somewhere else get a lesson and paste send the request there is no token we are a token send the request lesson found okay lesson found now we are done with delete we are done with the cut so okay create one more so lessons less all less lessons both middleware get okay go to lesson control copy paste get all lesson so here we need only the course id and find one Okay, find one. Do one thing that all course lesson. So here course dot find find where mm, find course ID course ID. Inside this, it is load select, load select lessons. Now go to course model lessons. Okay, lessons and send the lesson lessons now get all course lesson get all 
sports lesson so copy this here create a route so repeat a, create a request get error token courses slash lesson slash all dash that will paste lesson slash all dash lesson now we need the bearer token send okay there is an error i think lesson slash all dash lessons send the request could not send request get all lessons courses okay it's not courses course still not oh sorry base url send the request so here we have all the lessons now do one thing create two to three more lessons send the request now okay but here we are getting only one go to database we have two now go to courses refresh we have two lessons okay now go to lesson control get all lesson courses dot find select lessons get all courses lesson okay i think lesson found okay this is not that one let's change see or anything okay this is okay so it's confused which route we are calling now do one thing course route so what we can do okay remove this alias on and remove this now we are getting null let me check go to lesson control remove this point okay here i am doing wrong find dot where mm. we need to find where underscore id will be underscore id will be false id oh this mistake i am doing got it dot select here pass lessons now move to course routes so course okay get all lessons this is lessons less make it lessons so less course id make okay lessons so less copy this id send we have lessons then two lessons okay okay so this is how you can get all the lessons okay now we are deleted okay we are done with deletion let's go with updation of a lesson so get a lesson create const 
update a lesson update a lesson is equal to async handler async request response then take try catch one thing i forgot here inside get a lesson we don't need this and okay here do validate mongodb id and pass lesson id same do here validate mongodb id and pass course id sorry pass course id okay then here update a lesson so first of all what we need to do const we need to find the lesson is equal to request dot params then const find and update course is equal to await sorry not course will be lesson find and update lesson is equal to await lesson dot find find by id and update pass lesson id lesson id then request dot body then new will be true and copy this after here so status true lesson updated and pass find and update lesson or do one thing make it simple lesson that will be better remove this time so lesson updated now export it update a lesson go to course routes so course router dot put lesson slash id comma auth middleware comma is both is both get a lesson get a lesson okay get a lesson now go to lesson model add a request update a lesson put request base url course slash lesson slash we need to put the id copy paste go to body select the token body row json copy this paste this and change it to send not found course lesson send this id is not valid or not found okay this will be lesson let me check lesson control copy this and pass it here send the request lesson null let me check go to lesson control find by update okay new row lesson null why it is null Quest dot id lesson dot find 
Okay, let me check in the DB. Refresh. Go to lessons. Okay, this is not updated. The const lesson is equal to await lesson dot find by id and update. Okay. Update a lesson we have exported now. Okay, do one more thing. Log here. Update etc. Let me check if this route is going to this particular request. Send the request. Okay, it's not going here. Okay. Lesson. Do one thing. Update. Python lesson. Copy. And change this to. Set. Update. Python lesson. But still giving null. Okay, let me check. Oh, sorry guys here we need to do update our essence it's my mistake send so we have this updated lesson okay next thing what we have to do is let me check update lesson lesson id lesson course id lesson okay Creation done, relation done, particular lesson done. Okay, fine. If we need some more APIs when we create front end, then we will create at that time. So here our course creation is done. Okay. Next thing what we are going to do is this is project and categories okay project and categories so now before moving to other things what we are going to do is we are going to do code optimization and we are going to limiting the request for particular API so for that what we are going to do is we are going to use this package npm install express rate limit you have to do install it you have to install it install and create a file inside utils folder let's say request limit dot js and here const limiter limit limiter equal to limit equal to require express rate limit then we have function rate limit is equal to sorry rate limit then let limit and return return limit after that module dot exports equal to rate limit now go to the documentation what you have to search is express rate limit so here copy this only equal to rate limiter and paste it here so what i am doing to what this window ms is equal to so how for how much time it will work let's say it will only work for 5000 which means 5 second after 5 second user can request again let's say i am only allowing 5 requests okay now do one thing go to postman send the request one Okay, I need to run the server.
I need to run the server and now send the request 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Oh shit. One thing I forgot. Here we need to import it. Const. Or do one thing. Rate limit. And go to routes here app dot use on slash api i am doing this for all apis for now okay after that we will modify it more so we got a error maximum for rate limit okay rate limit okay do one thing make it rate limiter rate limiter and now here rate limit fine okay rate limiter is not defined do one thing rate limiter and here also limiter okay rate limit is equal to rate limit copy this and change this also let limiter now go to postman one Two, three, four, five. Too many requests. Please try again later. So here, now what we will do is we will make this dynamic. Let's say time. Time we need max request we need. Then standard header or legacy header return rate limit info into headers okay then message we need i'm not okay going to message and inside message we will pass message okay and here time if we have time then we have to give the time otherwise let's say for copy the this one 15 minutes one copy this paste it okay if we have max request then this otherwise let's say how um, i'm allowing 50 request okay this is done if we have message otherwise say too many or do one thing create the structure here itself so status will be false then code will be two underscore many underscore request then message will be message okay okay so message will be message and message if we have message otherwise to many request requests okay it will block it message will be message otherwise too many requests and do one thing please try again after let's say we have do one thing make it template returns we will make it dynamic so try again after dollar if we have time then time otherwise let's say 15 time how to define the time okay let's say one more thing we have to pass time type so it means seconds or minutes so if we have the time then time otherwise 
मेक का स्ट्रिंग 15 मिनट्स 15 मिनट्स देन इफ वी हैव अ टाइम देन टाइम प्लस टाइम टाइप ओके नाउ ट्राई टू सेंड द रिक्वेस्ट गो टू पोस्ट में वन टू थ्री फोर वन टू वन थिंग मेक इट फाइव एंड मेक इट फाइव थाउजेंड फोर नाउ टू टेस्ट इट सो वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव Uh, 5000. Let's try to send again. One, two, three, four, five, six. It should block now. If we have time, then this. If we make request, then this. Otherwise, five message will be this. Okay. Now one, two, three, four, five, six. It's not working. Okay, it came, but after. Okay, do one thing. Let's make it more simple. Max request, and here also. If we are time, otherwise this. This is also fine. Now, let's try again. Eight, two, three, four, five. Okay, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Do one thing. Let's increase this. One, two, three, four. Five six. Okay, so this is how you can limit your requests. Now, again, make the same. Copy this. Copy and paste it here. And by default, we have let's say fifty. Fifty requests we are passing. Now, okay, this is fine. Go to index dot js. App dot use rate limiter. Okay, on all APIs. Let's pass the time. Let's say it will be fifteen minutes. Then. Sixty. Copy. Paste. Comma. Make it sixty. In one hour. And this will be. Hours. Then. We have to pass. Next request. Let's say I think let's give seventy, or you can say let give only fifty. Okay, then we have message only fifty requests allowed. Only fifty requests allowed, and do one thing for now. Make it fifty thousand, and let's make this five. Let's check if we are getting the same what we are assuming. Send the request one, two, three, four, five. Okay, only five requests allowed. Too many requests. Okay, so this is what we are getting here. So in message, otherwise, time. 
ओके डो वन थिंग ओके ओके दिस प्लस पेस्ट दिस मैसेज एंड वी नीड टू शो द टाइम नाउ ट्राई टू सेंड इट अगेन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स only five requests allowed too many requests please try again after okay yeah that is fine so let me check how it's very is ours give up plus and here give a blank string then allow too many requests where is to give us space and here also now try it again 1 2 3 4 and 6 only five requests allowed too many requests please try again after that time and give a comma okay 1 2 3 4 5 6 Yeah, now it's fine. Okay. After that, um, what we will do? Copy this, paste it, and give plus. Okay. This is also fine. So we are done with this. Now, do one thing. Year sixty into sixty into thousand sixty into sixty into thousand. It means one hour and by default it will be hundred. Here we will pass hundred. Okay. So this we need to do. Or one more thing we can do. We don't. Oh, let it be. We need this message. So only hundred request. Make it fifty only. I think I'll make it in for a IP. Let's make it fifty. Fifty. Okay. Now check it. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Okay. Only fifty requests allowed. Too many requests. Please try again after. Okay. Here it is giving something wrong. Do one thing. Make it seconds. Make it seconds. Yeah, fine. So after that, this is how we can limit the request. Now, what we are going to do? We are going to mainly limit the post request from the user side. Okay. Let's say we have the registration API. Okay. Now go to routes. Here we have user routes, and now do one thing: create limit, control X, comma paste. So first of all, what I need to pass is, let's say in one day, sixteen to sixteen to thousand in one day. How many request? How many users a particular IP can create? Let's say currently I am giving only two. Then seconds, comma two. Okay. 
now move to user model register user make some changes and create one again make some changes two now it should block okay error duplicate key too many requests please try again later okay we have created two two one two three but it created three I think it starts from limit each IP hundred request. So only two user we can create in a time. Now copy this and go to index.js paste it. Okay. You can paste it here. So it's for trust proxies. So if you are behind a proxy or load balancer, usually the case with most hosting services like Heroku, Bluemix, AWS, Nginx, Cloudflare, Akamai, Fastly, Firebase, etc. So the IP address of the request might be the IP of the load balancer and request proxy. Then the rate limiter effectively a global one and blocking all the requests once the limit is request so whatever request we will do now like if we are doing request from some other ip okay to solve that problem we have to app dot set trust proxy one this we need to pass okay so this is fine now let's move to the next topic so if you go Go to draw. Let's take this. And if you check, where is the app limiter? Okay. Mm, take. And this one is done. Limiting the request is done. Now, move to code refactoring. So, this I have done to show you only. You guys can make yourself like wherever you want to use you can limit your request i am not going to show all okay i will do it for myself but currently i am going to show you this only so i show you the way okay now you have to implement wherever you want to use it wherever you want to limiting the request you can use this okay so now what we are going to do we have these three is admin is instructor and is both middleware now we are going to make it in one so how we can do let's see so const restrict to const restrict restrict to is equal to dot dot roles dot dot roles and it will return a sync handler inside this async request response then next request response next and here we will check if not roles dot include request dot user dot roles then throw new error so you are not authorized you are not authorized you are not authorized after that else pass the request okay now you guys can remove this is admin instructor and change it to restrict to Okay, I have deleted from above. Now, go to blocker cat routes. So, on rest files, I have changed it like this. If you pass two routes, then it will check both of from both of them. If we have one route, then it will work. 
now let's change here i will show you how we can change so let's here we have to give admin let's say admin and if you want to give more then you can give comma and pass the string okay so here i am resting restricting this route to admin okay now let's check let's say we have get all inquiries pass this okay let me check what's the error is both is not defined course routes okay course routes let me check is both where is his both here copy paste i think now it should work yeah now it is working fine send the request we are getting the data now let's move to this contact routes where is contact routes here so this is the all request this one now make it anything send the request you are getting you are not authorized okay so this is how you can restrict your multiple roles okay so this is done now next thing what we are going to do is let's check okay let's do this work with the skirt okay so first of all what we need to do we need to create a model work with us work with us model dot js so const mongoose is equal to require require mongoose okay then const or you can take let um, work schema work schema equal to new mongoose dot schema and let's say we have the name inside name we have type string and type string required to copy it then we need the email copy it again then we need the mobile copy it then we need the profession after that we have current job then we have resume let's pass this type string for itself for some time so when we apply our like kw stories that time we will change it so whatever did whatever type of data we will get that time we will set it based on that to true then module dot exports is equal to mongoose dot model and here let's say work work comma work schema okay so our work with us model is ready now create controllers let's say work ctrl dot js inside this const const mm, const work is equal to require so what we need is models slash work with us model then const async handler handler is equal to require express async handler then mm, <clears throat> let's say validate okay, const validate mongodb id is equal to require 
and dot dot slash utils or I think config slash validate MongoDB ID. Then const post post details equal to equal to a sync handler a sync handler a sync handler then sorry a sync handler request response not like this a sync request response then we have um, take try catch so inside try catch throw new error throw new error and pass the error after that inside try let's say const detail is equal to await work dot <clears throat> await work dot create request dot body request dot body then um, after that response dot status let's say 200 dot json inside json status status will be true comma message will be that's posted posted and i think that's it so module dot exports is equal to post details post details after that so here one thing i want to do is let's reduce the code here create custom control custom control dot js now const const async handler is equal to require express async handler then module dot exports equal to um, let's say const create one we need to create so uh, pass the model we will take model as an argument here then it will return async handler inside async handler async request response and then let's say copy this work control copy and paste it here make this data okay work dot create not work take this argument as a model and let's say it will say created success okay created success and export this create one now move to work control here remove all this code remove all this code and do one thing export sorry import create one and pass this work model pass this work model so we have post the details now create a folder inside routes create a folder let's say work routes dot js work routes dot js and go to video routes copy paste it here remove so control f instead of video change it to work now remove all this so this one will be post i think details let's check to router.post this is fine now move to index.js here create the route 
so app dot use the so slash api slash work work comma work router work router and then go to postman so here i have created this route let's rename it rename post work details post work with the details okay so send the request you are getting validation resume path name is resume is not like resume is required now let's say we have the name so name will be now the comma we have email let's say at the rate gmail.com comma now you guys will see how much code we will reduce so mobile will be this 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 for now comma then we have profession so profession will be anything for now comma comma then we have resume resume will be anything okay send the request okay current job comma current current job will be anything send the request created success okay now what we will do mm, we will create custom routes sorry custom controller let's where is custom controller here okay we have this custom controller and where we have simple third operations there we will use this so we are done with create one so const next thing is update one is equal to model and model this will return return what async handler async handler then async request comma response let's create all the things okay after that we will change whole code so update one okay work with this try catch so model dot here find find by id and find by id and update so we need to pass the id comma new true okay new true then let's say we have const id from request dot params and here we need to validate okay const validate validate mongodb id is equal to require dot dot slash config slash validate mongodb id okay validate mongodb id and pass this id so this is the update one id we have request dot body and here we will show updated success exported updated update one now move to with work control here const const let's say update details is equal to update one update one and pass work okay export it update one now move to routes work routes copy this request will be put on here we need to pass the id or the middleware restrict okay let's say work control okay update not one update detail here change it to update detail 
now okay we have created one so let me refresh the database we have works we have the id and go to postman slash pass the id copy this this request will be put let's say i am changing the name so, yeah okay got the i think let me check update one is not defined update one is not defined let me check custom control update one okay there is find koto okay update one update one from custom control send the request updated success now move to db refresh now the data okay so this is how we can make our code short next thing what we have to do copy copy let's say create the delete one let's say delete one then model okay we need the id find by id and delete only we need to pass the id here and say deleted success fine comma delete one and go to work control copy let's say delete detail and change it to delete one okay export it see how much code is reduced sorry no delete details delete detail now move to work routes copy we need the id restrict to admin delete detail okay we got a error let me check okay no error let's do one thing make it post save the request let's close all of this now rename it let's say work with us model work with us model and inside it create a request sorry guys what i'm doing delete create a request so put or you can say update details request will be put and base url authorization is bearer token inside that work okay then we have body row json copy paste okay now add a one more request add request delete detail so this will be delete let's say base url works less this send the request false route route not found okay go to routes make this delete route send the request there is no tokens add the token and deleted success now create one again add a request so this one will be get a get a detail get a detail and this one will go to base url work works less and that it before now let's move to custom controller copy this paste it let's make get one okay so inside this get one what we have to do we need to pass pop option or you can say populate options populate options okay we need the id and it can be a slug also it can be a slug also so first of all what we will do is let 
query equal to that query equal to model dot find by find by id and mm, okay inside go inside this try so model dot find by id pass the id so there can be two conditions so if we have id then we have to run this if we have select if we have select then copy paste so this one will be find one and pass slug slug okay then next thing what we will do is if we have if we have pop populate options then populate option then query will be query equal to query dot populate query dot populate and pass populate options okay pass populate options and come here await query cons data is equal to await query and do one thing if not data not data throw throw new error let's say no data found with this id but we don't need to this this no okay let it be so now export it get one move to work control let's say const mm, get detail is equal to get one from custom control and pass work model and export it get detail now move to work routes create one so this one will be the get route auth middleware okay you can remove this in okay so if we have the id auth middleware now get a detail and do one thing refresh take the id paste send the request there is no token attached mm, bearer token send the request shipman router dot get oh shit here we have get detail get detail now do one thing again post get the id go to postman get a detail here's this id here send still delete success okay i forgot to change so fetch success and pass comma data now fetch success but we didn't get the data let me check why we don't have any data let query okay oh got it remove this and let query and now it will get the data so now we are getting the data so this is what we have to do okay after that we have get all now go to custom control create const get all is equal to um, model model then it will return return async handler async request response request response then then what we need to do 
ओके ओ वन थिंग आई हैव नॉट डन इन केस ऑफ लेट्स गिव नेम हियर नेम हियर सेलेक्ट ओके गो टू वर्क आउट सेलेक्ट इनसाइड सेलेक्ट पास द नेम एंड लेट्स चेक इफ वी गेट द डेटा कॉपी पेस्ट दिस आईड इज नॉट वेरी डोर नॉट फार्म आई थिंक something oh. okay here we need to validate this id if we have id then only validate the mongodb id send the request yeah we are getting the data so this is working properly now make it and here pass log only okay so this is how you can create a uh, get one request With select an ID. Now let's focus on. Mm. So inside get all, we can filter the data. So create a blank object, and here we need to perform. Okay, copy, and do one thing. Try, try catch, throw. New error and pass the error. Now move to here. So here we need to create one more thing. Go to utils. Inside utils create. Inside utils create. Uh, let's say API features. So what are the API features? Let's say filter, pop, pull, sorry, filter, paginate, sort, or limiting the fields. So here we will create a class. Let's say API, API features, and then create a constructor. So inside this constructor, what we need to do? We need query, create the query, and one more thing is. Let me check. Mm -hmm. Query, and I think query string. Query string. Query string, and then this dot query is equal to query. After that, this dot this dot query string is equal to query string. This is done now. Create method. So filter. First one is filter. Copy it four times. Last one is paginate. This one will limit fields. Then this is for sorting. So sort. Okay. Now start from sort. If you guys are done with e-commerce project, so there also we have done that. Filtering. So here we need to take a query object from dot dot dot. Sorry, query o b j j equal to dot 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 this dot query string means this one this dot query string. Then const exclude fields is equal to So we have page, we have short, then we have limit, and in last we have fields. Okay, then exclude fields dot for each, exclude fields dot for each element. So delete. Let's say query object and pass element. Okay. After that, so let query string query str is equal to JSON dot stringify. We need to stringify the query object. After that, query query string will be query string dot replace. Inside replace, we need to create the regex. So take literal notations then. Slash b, slash b, 
so here we have some cases so greater than equal to then greater then less than equal to then less than okay gives less b and after that make it global so comma we will match it match then dollar dollar match dollar dollar match after that this dot query will be query will be so this dot query dot find query dot find so what we need to do json dot parse json dot parse query string okay and return this so this is all about our filtering now move to sort so if this dot query string dot short then else after that return this copy this paste it here also so let's come here no const const short by short by equal to this dot query string dot short we will split it split it with comma and join it with join it with space okay join it with space then this dot query will be this dot query dot short and inside short pass this short by short by here this dot query is equal to this dot query dot short mm, let's say minus created at if we don't have anything in short so it will be sorted by created at okay next thing we have limiting the fields so do one thing copy this and paste it here so instead of sort build builds and this dot query dot builds okay here builds this dot query dot select then pass the fields fields and in else copy so this dot query dot select so what we need to do mm, dash hyphen hyphen v so this we need to unselect okay then we have pagination so let's move to pagination so that or you can take const page is equal to this dot query string dot page into one if we have anything otherwise one then const limit is equal to this dot query string dot limit into one this is the page limit otherwise it will be 100 then const const skip equal to so page minus 1 into limit into limit okay then this dot query is equal to this dot query dot skip pass skip pass skip then dot limit pass limit and return return this okay so this is all about our this api feature, features class then modules module dot exports is equal to api features 
okay no teachers features sorry guys my mistake api of shit features work make it api features okay now move to custom control so inside this custom control now let's say const filter okay const features features equal to new we will create a instance for this features class api feature class and here we will pass the query first so module dot query sorry module dot find and here we need to pass the filter filter comma then we have request dot query okay request dot query so we have created some method so first one is filter short dot um, limit fields dot paginate okay after that const data is equal to await query and sorry features dot query features dot query and pass the data now move to work control so const get detail get detail of okay, not get all detail is equal to let's say get all let me check get all okay we need to export it now so get all now move to work control get all and pass the model okay export from here get all detail now move to routes copy so slash auth middleware admin get all detail now add a request so get all let's say details this one will go to base url work and send the request there is no token okay period token send the request we have the data now do one thing create one more how to get all detail we have two data now do one thing update detail go to post let's change this to let create a resume a send the request okay now come to get all detail so here what we will do let's say question mark mm, resume equal to a let's see if it will okay so this is our how this is how our sorting will work okay so this is how we can make our code less okay now wherever okay do one thing you guys can remove these two we don't need it anyway okay now we don't need it okay then next thing we will do is see i'm not going to revert all you guys can create it yourself let's say i will give you some examples let's move to blow category so here you can use it if you go to blow control here you can use it okay okay and you can do one thing you guys can pass these type of requests there also if we have request dot body dot title this also we need to manage okay let it be for now so in next phase we will do now after this what we have to do let me check okay we are done with work with the skirt 
so next we will do course enrollment okay so <clears throat> now let's see what we can do next let's move to project and categories card okay so first of all let me close all the files inside models create a model let's say project cat model model dot js and inside it const mongoose is equal to require mongoose and const const let's say project mm, cat schema category schema is equal to new mongoose dot schema and here timestamps will be true timestamps true then module dot exports is equal to um, module dot exports mongoose dot model let's say project project category comma project cat schema okay and here we need title type string type string comma required true required true required true after that we have select so type type string comma required true okay then move to controller let's say project cat control dot js and here const const mm, we need the model so project category is equal to require dot dot slash model slash mm, project get model then module dot exports is equal to a blank object let's say const post category post category equal to mm, create one okay why i'm not getting it any sense create one let me check we have the custom controller where is that okay create one okay now go to project get control create one from and pass project category then copy it five times so second one will be update category then this one will be update one update one then <coughs> delete one then we have get one then get all and change this to delete change this to get 
and this will be get all category see how it is simple to create apis now so post category comma update category comma delete category comma get category then we have get all category not this one get all category okay now move to routes here create project get routes dot js do one thing let's copy block get routes copy and paste it here remove all of this okay that's fine so instead of block make it project project get router and let's say this one will be the create let me check okay post category post category here date category then delete category okay post okay here get category okay this one will be get all category <coughs> this one will be post category okay now move to index.js copy this paste it here api slash let's say project dash category and this one will be project cat route now add a folder so project category model project category model save it save this and let me close all of this so inside that create a request so post post project category post project category base url post request we have the beard token then project slash category then we have body go to row select the json and let's say we have the title title will be mm, let's say html we have project on html now before creating this request we have to handle one more thing in our custom control so in case if request dot body dot title then request dot body dot slug will be mm, slugify request dot body dot title dot to lowercase lowercase okay same copy and paste in update one now let's send the request created success now open mongodb mongodb and let's check what we are getting 
connect LMS. So inside LMS, we have project categories. We have one category. Now create one more request. Which one will be update or oh, shit man project category update project category mm. update project category this request will be put base url project category last category find the id copy then paste it here let's say we have uh, we should have here a token copy this and go to row json paste it says say html to this id is not valid or not found let me check go to project cut routes okay that we have put let me check refresh copy we have the same id now project category slash id okay api project category why this id is not valid or not found okay router dot put we have less id now move to custom control here we are getting id from params then we are finding the model okay go to project get control update one okay update one here we have the update category update category project category only admin can do this id we are passing now do one thing let's log log id here open the terminal send the request here we are getting the 35025 35025 here we are getting the id now then why it is saying okay do one thing copy paste it here again send the request here it's not coming validate mongodb id do one thing validate copy it should work yaar id from request dot params id from request dot params mm -hmm. Sync handler request response 
that is also fine let's remove this and let's check send still okay okay remove this let me send the request again okay so here we are getting status message updated success now check the db we have html2 okay then create another request add request so this will be delete request we are a token project slash category and send the request after adding bear token okay send the request i think there is some here spacing problem that's why it is creating problem okay now copy this id let's name this so delete project category okay close this add one more request get a project category get a project category here paste url then project slash category and send the request okay project slash category do one thing pass oh sorry it's peer token base url okay this is fine now save this project slash category slash the id and send the request there is no token we are a token no data found with this id because we have deleted send the request refresh the db copy the id so now get a product category paste it send still not found mm. okay where is get one remove this and send the request so data null true why it is null true let me check query model dot find by id okay but here we are passing slug now so here we need to pass the slug so slug is html okay paste we have the data now add a request so get get all project category this will request will be get base url project slash category send the request okay api project category not found let me check go to project get routes okay here project get route dot get slash all slash all so here we have all the data for get all project categories now what we have to do we need to make project model 
Okay, now we have so many APIs, guys. Okay, we need to change this folder structure also. So whatever we will do, what, what, hmm, let's say if we have the course model, okay, then we will create a folder and we will pass, we will like store all the files regarding course model in that particular folder. So let's create project model.js inside project model. Let's say const mongoose is equal to require mongoose. Okay, then const project schema project schema equal to mm, mongoose. Sorry, here we need to give new mongoose.schema so timestamps timestamps will be true so we have project title type string comma required true okay copy so let's say project have some description okay then we have <clears throat> what i can do is let's say we have some links So here, remove this links inside links. We have name, so name will be string. Then we have URL, URL will be string name and URL. We need to pass okay after that name and url for the yeah fine then we have image or we can say images blank array for now and created by or you can say author author type string comma type string default developers corner okay author type string developers corner we have the images links description title Okay, what else we have? Okay, then we have price type number default zero. Then is published is published type boolean default false okay we have price is published author then let's say text check text tag 
so text tag will be a type of array after that we requisit then that's it type or oh, that it be we will cover this in description we have text track keywords keywords for keywords blank array okay, we have title then we have select type string comma required row required row i think that's it so module module dot exports is equal to mongoose dot model project comma project schema okay then till now now go to controller project ctrl dot js here we need const project is equal to okay go to project model we have category category we have added no we have not added the category so category inside category we have type string comma required group okay required true price after discount price after discount so type number default zero okay now come here require dot dot slash model slash project project model then module dot exports equal to blank object const post post project post project is equal to create one okay create I don't know what happened to this VS Code. Sometimes I'm getting intelligence and sometimes not. <clears throat> Let's move to Project Cat Control. Copy. Paste it here. Then const post project is equal to create one project okay copy this four times delete update get get all so here get all get one update one delete one now export this post project delete project update project get project 
get all project now create routes project routes dot js so do one thing copy this project routes so remove this from here okay do one thing project cat 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 then this cat and here so we have project router all where now let's say get all project then post project then get project then update project and this one will be delete project now move to index.js copy and this one will be project router okay go to postman duplicate rename so project model inside this rename project then rename this update project rename delete project rename get a project then again rename get all project let's move to here so we have the bear token so title then we have price let's say 455 comma comma let me check the model copy okay then after that we have description for now anything then we have author is by default given links don't need description is required category let's say category will be html i think that's it send the request created success refresh we have projects copy the id copy the id remove till here save save copy all data body paste let's update this send updated refresh so here we have the updated data let's see you guys can see how simple it is how simple it is now okay send we have all the project data okay copy the id okay here inside that we don't need the it we need the slug do one thing remove this category only send the request we have this particular data and final copy delete deleted success okay refresh we don't have any data so this is all about our project model let's close this okay now let's check so draw this is done okay
so this is done logs done now let's move to book a session book a session so do one thing okay go to model then create a file session model dot js okay so const const mongoose is equal to require mongoose okay then mongoose dot model sorry module dot exports equal to mongoose dot model let's say session or not session mm -hmm. make it book session book session comma const book session schema schema equal to new mongoose dot schema and here timestamps will be true timestamps true so first of all we have name so type string required true then email copy paste mobile okay mobile after that subject that why we need like why they want to like book this session so description time slot time slot copy and paste so we have description subject time open and all now copy this and comma paste it go to controllers let's say book session control dot js so here we will do do one thing go to project get control copy paste let's const const let's say we have book session is going to require dot dot slash models slash session model let's go to session model book session this is fine okay book session control then do one thing module dot export is equal to a blank object so here we will do const post or make it book post session is equal to create one create one and pass book session then const update session is equal to update one pass book session after that const delete one delete session is equal to delete one pass model then const 
get a session get a session is equal to get one pass book session then const get all session is equal to get all let's say book session export it post session comma update session comma delete session comma get a session comma get all session this is fine now let's say book session control this is fine create routes so this one will be book routes.js mm, copy project get routes copy or do one thing copy project routes copy so here we have book routes remove this it's not needed change this project to mm, book router so here we have to show get all session post, post session then get session not get a session here update session Date session then delete session fine now move to next.js so api slash book dash session and here pass book router Let's check what we have missed. Type string go to session model treatment. What I've done this. Let's make it capital for all. Okay. Now fine. So create a folder book session model and here add request so this request will be post book session post request adders we need bearer token then base url book dash session auto body row then we have json so do one thing go to register a user copy paste here we need only the name remove this last name mobile we have we need subject we need description let me check the model we need subject description and one more thing we need let's say time time slot send the request created success okay refresh we have book sessions we have this one session copy the id Go to postman add a request request will be put base url book session slash this authorization bearer token body row 
जैसा कॉपी ऑल पेस्ट लेट से अपडेट के बुक सेशन वन थिंग आई फॉर गोट हियर एड इज एक्सेप्टेड और डू वन थिंग पास स्टेटस सो टाइप टाइप स्ट्रिंग डिफॉल्ट डिफॉल्ट सेशन इज सेशन स्टेटस इज रिक्वेस्टेड वी हैव रिक्वेस्टेड ए स्टेटस ओके डू वन थिंग फॉर टू कम पास कैंसल डिलीट दिस now send the request refresh status requested now go to update book session here you have to pass let's say status so status will be comma let's say rejected rejected send the status updated refresh okay it's not updated here let me check status oh let's change the name let's see if it's because of db refresh Nothing be changing. Do one thing. Let's move to book session control. We have update session. Fine. Go to book routes. Okay, this is the update one. Book session. Go to index dot js book test session. Slash id. Okay. Go to book session. Go to custom control. Where is that custom control? Custom control. Where is custom control? Okay. Here. Okay. Where is that update one? Okay. If request dot body dot select. Then selectify. Title. So here we are not providing any title, so it should not affect. Book session control. Book session control. Update one. Request is going, but data is not updating. Go to custom control. Do one thing. Pass the data here and send the request data none. Why data is done? We are passing the ID. ID is coming here. Find by ID and update. But we need to update request dot body. Okay. Do one thing. Delete or oh, before deleting. Delete this. Drop this collection. Paste. Drop. Now go to post book session. Okay, this is also not running. Okay, sorry. NPM run there. Post created. Okay, let's check. Refresh. Book session. We have this all. Now copy the ID. update okay yeah this is because of we have added this status field after na so in that case what you have to do delete the collection and then send the request 
so if i refresh it then it is rejected here okay now next thing is add a request let's say get request so get book session so here base url book session okay do one thing go to go to go to go to go to book says book routes here do pass the id okay now copy this paste authorization bureau token send the request via the data again add a request get all at all let's say booked get all book sessions paste remove the id send the request route not found slash all we have the data now delete it at a request delete book session okay request will be delete then base url we have the id let me check the id 41 na authorization bearer token send the request deleted address we don't have any data so this is all about book session model okay now this is also done now let's check what is pending so problems and payment gateway is pending for this phase this job card and live chat with admin or instructor we will do in next phase so for now okay one more thing is course enrollment is pending and i think we have some apis we need to some we need to create some apis for students also or you can say user also so one two three okay so let's focus on q a okay So we have this model inside this we have to create let's say QNA model dot js QNA model dot so now we are moving to QNA or you can say a module like stack workflow so what we are going to do now start creating folder we will categorize categorize each folder okay and then we will like separate the files okay based on model so this is the QA folder inside QA QA model dot js now const const mongoose mongoose is going to require require mongoose okay then const let's say q and a schema q and a schema equal to new Mongoose dot schema timestamps true. After that, module dot exports is equal to mongoose dot model you have to export and let's say QNA comma 
pass this to any schema. Now start creating the same schema. So inside this, we need the user. Okay, we need the user who created this schema. So type mongoose dot schema dot types dot object ID we need and reference will be reference will be user second thing we need is question so for question we will create a, another model so type do one thing copy paste this will be question then copy it again for answer also we will create a another model answer then answer okay then we have featured featured mean so type boolean type boolean default it will be false default it will be, it will be false so this is our q &A model now create a file question model dot js let's create all the files answer model dot js again one model dot js okay now let's focus on question model so const sorry const mongoose is going to require require mongoose okay then const question schema equal to require mongoose okay oh shit man sorry guys my mistake you mongoose dot schema and timestamps true these timestamps mean created at updated at okay they will automatically create Whenever we update, then it will automatic update the date or updated date. So in last module, the text ports equal to mongoose dot model. So this model will be question comma question schema. Okay, inside this question schema. Hmm, we have title type string type string comma required required true required true copy then we have select okay then we have select okay we have tags so inside tag type mongoose dot schema dot types dot object id reference will be tag okay after that we have mm, comments 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 okay comments so comment can be also an array do one thing copy paste comment okay then we have let's say vote count vote count 
सो टाइप नंबर कॉमा डिफॉल्ट जीरो ओके देन वी हैव अपवर्ड्स अपवर्ड्स लाइक हाउ मेनी आर सेटिस्फाइड फ्रॉम दिस ओके तो Inside upwards, upwards. Do one thing. Make it higher. Make it higher. And here we will save name string comma created at string okay then we have then we have downwards downwards name string created at okay so we have description for the question type string comma required true required true let's see title we have select description we have then we have tags comments word count upwards and downwards i think that's it okay now create one more comment do on the q and a comment dot js okay go to when a okay, make it let's say q and a comment okay now this is fine next thing we have to do we are done with q and a model we are done with Question model. So next thing we will create is let's create tag model. So const do one thing. Oh, write it now. Const oh sorry. Const mongoose is equal to require. mongoose okay then module dot exports is equal to mongoose dot model and let's say you will need tag comma you need tag comma you and the tag schema Q and A tag schema. So const Q and A tag schema. Const Q and A tag schema equal to new new numbers dot schema. Create timestamps. Timestamps true. Okay. so inside that we have title so same type string comma required to copy paste we have slug okay again copy paste we have description okay paste it again let's say total question and default it will be report 0 report 0 and type will be 
number type will be number okay fine now we are done with q and a model question model tag model let's move to q and a comment model so same here we need to do const const mongoose is equal to require require mongoose then const QA comment schema is equal to new mongoose dot schema timestamps true timestamps true so first of all we have who have created the comment so type mongoose dot schema dot types dot object id reference will be user then we have let's say comment type string comma required true we have the username we have the comment username comment i think that's it then module dot exports sorry mongoose dot model let's say q and a q and a comment comma when a comment comma when a comment schema make this is okay copy okay we have user description when a comment schema okay we are done with q and a comment also now move to answer so do one thing go to question model copy paste it here instead of this question make it answer schema answer okay so here we need the Mm. Okay, to do one thing. Here we need the user who have given the answer. So mongoose. Sorry. Mongoose dot schema dot types dot object ID. Comma reference will be user. Fine, a comma. So we have the user. Okay, we need the upwards. We need what count we need, downwards. We need okay, comments. We don't need. And tax also we don't need here. We need don't we need title and send up also. So we need the user, we need the description, upward, downwards, and total word. I think that's it. Save it. So we have five models inside the QA. Now Let's say move to controller. Here also create the file, create the folder. Sorry, delete it. Close all the files inside controller. Create a folder. Create a folder 
and let's say Q and A or Q and A. Okay, Q and A C T R L dot JS. Now const. So here we have a lot of functionality. So that's why we are not going to use our custom controller. Okay, so const. Let's say here we need. Let me check the name. Here we need question model. So question is equal to require require dot dot slash dot dot slash models slash q and a slash okay we need the question model copy it again let's say second thing we need is Q and A, make it small. So const Q and A, so Q and A is less Q and A model. Then we need the Q and A model and question model for now. Okay. Module dot module dot exports module dot exports equal to one more thing we need to do first I think let's say const create post is equal to async do one thing const async and is equal to Require express async handler. Okay, so async handler, then async request response. Okay, export it for now. Create post now. Move to question model. So Tags are not compulsory for now. Okay, we are going to add these tags later. Okay, let's create only first post a question. Okay, so here what we have to do take try catch, take try catch. Okay, here we need the user so const id is equal to request to user okay we need the user we need the user then go to try catch to try let's pass through new error no new error pass the error this is fine now let's say own request stored body do one thing create a route go to routes so create q and a routes dot js q and a routes dot js so const q and a router is equal to require express dot router call it module dot exports is equal to to any router then to any router dot post so post less comma so make it post comma Auth middleware we need a const auth like that 
auth model where is equal to require dot dot slash dot dot slash sorry we are only one now so dot dot slash middleware slash both middleware sorry slash both middleware middleware now go to middlewares let me check both middleware okay then we need a restrict two so, comma strip two so comma both middleware we need because anyone can post a question then let's say create post now go to index.js index.js here control c api slash q a slash post then this one will be q a router sorry q a router open postman load this for now delete this request let's clear all the things so changes go to user model login a user send the request we have the token copy it go to environments lms paste paste set photo collections add a folder q and a model q and a model the model now add a request post QA. So request will be post. Request will be post. It will go to base URL QA slash post. Authorization select the token because we need the user. Go to body row JSON. Now open the code, open QA model. So let's see here what are the things we need. So QA, so we need the user. User we are going to get from request.user so go to kna control const const mm. okay first of all const new function new function is equal to Await question dot create request dot body. Okay, then const const mm, let's say post is equal to await QA dot create inside that let's say open to a new model we need the user so user we will get from id this id validate it validate mongodb id and pass this id okay so user we will get from id then new question sorry not new question Go to can name order copy question and paste so new question dot underscore id we need to give okay this is fine we are creating new question then whatever 
ID we will get, then we are passing here. Okay. Now move to the model. Okay, this is fine till now. Let's move to question model. Here we need title. Okay. One more thing we need to do. Go to PNA control. So if if request dot body dot title then request dot body dot select is equal to selectify request dot body dot title dot to lower case okay this is also done now question model we need the title description tags we are not giving okay we need to pass only title and description we need to pass only title and description from let's say title title comma let's say how to learn web development okay how to learn web development then description let me check okay copy paste it so i am learning with this this and this okay i'm learning with this 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 tutorial is it good is it good to learn from there okay try to send the request and okay it's stuck because go to any control here response dot status 200 dot json sad json status status to comma message sorry message created successfully successfully okay go to postman send the request created successfully now open mongodb go to lms refresh it once so here we need to find let's say q and a is you can delete one okay so here we have user id and then we have question id okay this is how you can create a post now next thing what we will do const get post get post is equal to Async handler, async handler, async request comma response. So this we will get from const id or I think here we are not passing the setup. how we can find how we can find okay take select from request dot params 
requires two pair arms and take try catch. Let's check how we can do. So throw new error error. So we have these two. First is question, then we have this QA. Okay. Get post. Do one thing. Find question you do. Now move to question model. Not like that. Yeah. Again, let me check. So const const. Let's say find post is equal to await await to a name dot find one find one now we have to find question dot select and pass this select mm -hmm. question dot select Question dot slug. Let me check the data we have question. Then we have slug. Question. Then up and pass. Let's check if it will work. I am just trying this. So response top status 200 for JSON. Top status true comma comma message. Let's say found and pass five post. Get question. Get question. Now move to pin and outs. Copy. Pin and out to get posts less luck. Both middleware. Get. Let me check. Get question. Get okay, let's see how it will go. Add a request. Save this one. Okay. So here, base URL. One thing I do here we don't need this. Anyone can find this. Okay, so you may name post slash. Let's go to MongoDB. Okay, go to go to go to go to questions. Copy this and delete one. Okay, copy this slug by pass it here. Send the request, pass to object, page to this. Okay, let me check. Go to any control, 
Do not be request to parents. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. You need out. This is fine. Love. Okay, post. You need post. Next this. Okay. We have question. We have then sum. Do one thing. First, find. Find by. Or do one thing. Find one. So find one with to find dot find dot filter filter so we have number but here also we will not get the idea okay let's make it simple do one thing what to to a new model here pass the slug simply type string comma required true pass this slug here also okay so that we can find it easily okay then do one thing delete this Copy and paste drop collection. Drop collection. Drop collection. Now go to postman. Okay, one thing more we need to do. Go to any control. Here we need to pass. Select and request dot body dot select will go here okay now send the request created go to database refresh we have qnis we have the slug now we will find this with the help of this slug so We remove this to find one the lug slug. Now go to postman. Send the request. We have the data. Okay. One more thing we need to do. So here dot populate. Dot populate what? Question answer. Let's check it to be like that. Send the request. So we have this question. Answer we don't have. So this is fine. Now next thing is let's say const get all posts is equal to await sorry not uh, async handler async request response then pass it here now move to custom control there is that custom control Open to the side. Get one. Get tolls. Okay. Get all. Do one thing. Copy this. Comma. Paste it. Open it options and copy mm -hmm. 
if populate query then query is equal to feature store query copy okay Query is equal to features to query. Okay. Here pass the query. Copy this. Paste. Else. We have to send it formally okay that a question we have done and i think point one the one thing we can make it simple also we can make this so too simple so here we need the get one and pass the model name you and name now move to here send the request we are getting the data but we need to do one more thing let's see how we can send the okay comma populate options we need to send so question answer try to send it let's see okay yeah it's working <laughs> okay then same we need to do for copy paste this is not get one this is get all you need to pass q and a and question and answer we need to populate then pass it Get all post, go to penny routes, copy, paste. Okay, it will go to slash post. Get all. Let me check get all post. Get all question. Make it get all question so we can find this easily. Get all question. Now get all question. Okay, go to postman. And okay, get question. Save it. Now create a request. Sorry, add a request. This will be get all questions. So base URL UNA slash post and the request assignment to constant variable. Let me check. Okay, query features to query once data make it that. Okay, let's check now. Send the request. Okay, still it is giving the custom control 93. 93. It's net okay, comes to data await very I think now it should not um, now we don't have anything comes now.
success in this so once delete a question is equal to delete task question so here we need to perform two tasks here we need to perform two tasks okay so we will make it by without custom control sync handler there is a sync handler okay then a sync request response sync handler request response take try catch what i will Sync handler with one bracket and one more. Sync handler, a sync. And request comma response. Now it is fine. Okay. Then still same mistake. Then take try catch. So to delete it, const const and um, can delete. In the help of ID, we can delete it. So request dot params. Now request dot params. Let me check. We have to do two things. We need to remove the complete question. Like we have to remove the complete post, and then we have to remove the question also. So throw. New, no new error, no new error, pass error here. So this one will be, let's say, post ID comma 
question ID. Okay. For now, we have only two. Then, post ID, question ID. So, here we will check. Validate it. Validate. MongoDB ID. Post ID. Then, validate. MongoDB ID. Question ID. Make this too small and D small. After that, go to try. So, const delete post is equal to await twenty dot find by ID and delete pass the post ID and const delete question is equal to await you question dot find by id and sorry and delete we have delete question id so when we are creating this okay then same time we are creating the question also and same time our post is also creating so we have this two but if we have answer id if if answer id then validate it validate two more db id and pass answer id then if answer id answer id await answer k that we need to so const answer is equal to require dot dot slash dot dot slash model slash q and a slash answer model okay so answer dot find by id and delete find by id and delete mm -hmm. pass the id okay sorry note id it's answer id this we need to do then response to status 200 dot status sorry dot json status true comma message deleted okay in comma delete a question now move to pin routes delete QNA router dot delete so post less question ID and let me check first we need to pass post ID then answer ID now move to question controller ANS ID, question ID, post ID this is find comma both middleware ready comma delete our question okay so currently i am not restricting restricting anything okay 
I am only creating the API. That restriction on all we will do it later. Delete question. Like the authorization bearer token base URL. Any post. Let's move to MongoDB Compass. So we have these QNAs. So first of all, we need the post ID. Then we need the question ID. Send the request route not found. QNA post. Okay, do one thing. Now, if I pass a, oh, sorry. This is that delete request now. Still not found. QNA post. Let me check. QNA router dot delete. post slash this 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 you will need post id then this id then this id but still the route not found we have the post id then given id and this one why it is giving not found delete A given the router dot delete. Oh, sorry, I forgot to give us less. Now try to do if I pass A, this ID is not valid or not found. Okay. Here, yeah, what we can do? Do one thing. Pass null. Okay, now go to Queen Control. If answer ID and then once ID not equal to equal to null. Copy this. This now try to send the request. Okay, I think this will be a string. Do one thing log okay, send the request. Let's check what we are getting here. It will be a string. Now send the request. Delete it. Okay. So this is how you can do this. So deletion is done. Next thing we have to do. The toll is done, the date is done. If you want to update, so const update question is built to async and done. Or I think we can do it. Okay. So update one. Update one pass question. Okay, what's the error? Let me check. Eight one. Oh, this is not a one. So let's do this now. Move to postman. Sorry. 
before we need to create the route. So update question. Okay, question. Go to clean it out. Copy. Paste. Put request. And here we will pass the ID. Auth middleware. Date. Question. Okay. Open postman. And request. Update question. So request will be put. Let me check what I have given here. Okay, put meta question. Copy this ID. In this ID. So base URL when post slash the ID bearer token body row JSON save it go to post menu copy this and Okay, update. That's how to learn map development time. Switch the carrier. Switch the carrier, whatever it is, send the request. So it's updated. Okay, our question is updated. Now same if you want to update the answer so const update answer is equal to update answer then update answers update one And pass answer. Okay. Export it. Okay. Update answer. One more thing we need to do. Here we are giving create post. Now, const. Create answer. Answer is equal to async handler async request response. Okay. Copy this. Test it. So we need the ID. Fine. We need to let me open the QA. Okay, where is that QA? Okay, open the answer model to the side. So here we have the user. Let's make it answer. Okay, let it be QA. But instead of will be answered so answer equal to so whatever things we need is we need the description only so that we will get from answer dot create then 
Okay, one more thing we need const. Const. Let's say post ID is equal to request dot params. So find find by ID and update. So find by ID and update. Pass post ID comma inside what we need to update is we need to update the answer only so here answer dot id new k comma new will be trip so this one will be updated successfully so what we are doing is i think okay inside answer we need to pass the user also so const data equal to let's say user user with the id then request request dot body dot 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 Pass this data. Dot 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 request body create answer. Pass this create answer. Now move to twenty 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 routes. So this request will be let's say twenty router dot post. Slash post slash answer slash post ID comma post middleware comma go to create answer so comma create answer copy this go to postman and request let's say post answer request will be post base url QNA slash post slash answer less refresh copy paste go to body form data payroll token row json and let me check what we have to pass we have this answer model user we are passing only description we need to pass so inside description, let's say hello all sold whatever it is. Okay, updated successfully. Now get all questions. So here you guys get this answer. Okay. Now same we can pass this counts and all. Okay. So we are done with post QA, get question, get all question, delete, update question, post answer. Now one request is pending and request update answer. Update answer. Okay, let me close all. Update answer, let me check the routes. So I have not created it. Post ID update question. Twenty router dot put less post less answer 
Transverse less ID, comma, both middleware, comma, update, answer, okay, let's try this, copy, go to postman request will be put base sorry base url given name post less post less answer slash let me check refresh with your answers Copy this. Mm. And paste this. Body form data row. JSON. A. Copy. And here. Description. Inside description what we will do but i will write send there is no token bearer token send the request updated success this is how you can update the answer okay so this is all about our q a model okay one thing i forgot tags so okay we now we have to do tags and comment. Okay. Let me open Google Chrome. Open Canva. Okay, go to home. Go to home. Okay, we have the Okay, here. So let me check what is pending. So now we are done with this inside problems card we have only two functionality pending comment and tags one okay then payment integration and like uploading the image one so uploading image payment integration two to four course enrollment is pending so five things are pending now okay so now we are going to do this tag model functionality okay so go to controller q and a okay, q and a tag control js the const q and a tag i think q and a tag is equal to Require require dot dot slash dot dot slash model slash Q and A slash Q and A Q and A where is the tag Q and A let me check okay sorry it's tag model Q and A slash tag model then module to exports and const post tag equal to create a so const create one is equal to 
require dot dot slash custom controller and inside create one okay inside create one pass the model name okay q and a tag copy this okay get tag so this one will be update one then delete tag this one will be delete one then get tag this will be get one then get all tag so this will be get all now export so post tag comma update Date tag comma delete tag comma get get tag comma get all tag. Now move to routes. Okay, move to twenty routes. Here only we will be. So. QNA router dot post. So this will be slash QNA tag comma both middleware comma restrict to restrict to admin restrict to admin then post post tag okay this is done let's copy paste so this will be tag both middleware okay this one will be update The tag restrict to restrict to admin or admin comma user. So update is done now. Copy this. ID both middle wheel restrict to admin comma delete tag delete tag we are done with delete we are done with update now move to get copy tag get all tag now copy tag let's say get tag okay now open postman to a tag model I have created this before, so post q and a slash tag. Fine, then the request created, it's working. q and a slash tag slash, okay, what we need to do? Connect. Refresh LMS. q and a tags. Copy the ID. Update. 
paste it, send the request, update it. Let's move to copy, paste. We have the data. Now we have all the data. Okay. Copy the ID and delete it. We have deleted it. Now do one thing create one created. Two. This is also created. This is also created. Now we have get all tags. Okay. Now how to give any model at the time of post creation here we need to send tags let me check the code okay to any control create post so here what we will do okay request stored body inside question Go to question model. Here we have tags. Okay, that is fine. We need to pass the ID of that tag to tags. Take a array and pass to tags. Okay. Refresh. Copy first. Copy first one, okay, go to postman, paste it, then copy second one, go to postman, paste. Okay, now here we have two tags. After that, go to QA control. Here, what we will do. If request dot body dot tag request dot body dot tag okay request dot body dot tag one thing we need to do const Q and a tag is equal to is equal to require dot dot slash dot dot slash models slash q and a slash tag model if request dot body dot tag then what we have to do is request dot body dot tag is a array request dot body dot tag is a array so request dot body dot tag dot for each for each we have the element a post question question dot create question dot create okay element so here what we will do is okay const update tag count equal to update tag count equal to await find by find sorry not like this unit tag dot unit tag dot find by id and update so here element question mark dot underscore i underscore not underscore we have the element directly okay element comma element comma mm, Okay, 
go to Q&A tag model. Total question. Copy. Okay. So total question. Here, what we need to do is dollar. A total question. Dollar. Total question. Inside total question. Let's see. Total question plus one. What is wrong here? Four inch. Do one thing. Sync. Then pass it. So it find by ID with the help of element inside element we are getting the ID. Comma new true new true. Okay. And new question that okay. Let's try to send the request. Let's see if it will work. Send created success go to database refresh okay it's not working let me check font update await qna tag to find by id and update and email total question plus one let's say make code only one okay send Okay, now go to database. It's not affecting. Okay, do one thing. Total this. Total this. Let's check what we are getting in log. Date tag count and the request we are not getting anything. Uh, refresh. If request or code it oh shit man. It's tags, no tag. In the request. Okay. <clears throat> yeah. Now it worked. Refresh. One, one. Okay. And now the one thing. Total. Question plus one. So whatever the current value. Plus it to one, I think we got error. Total question not A. No. Dollar. A dollar. Dollar sum. The dollar set. Dollar set what total questions dollar plus one okay, let's check if we work I from the total questions let me check it's not working that we check how we can do it total question one minute guys okay do one thing here i'm using dollar increment operator 
so total coefficient dollar in payment okay then this now let's try and now this created successful refresh so if i create again and check the mongodb so three time it's used okay three time it's used so this is how you need to find the total questions on a particular tag okay this is also done we are done with tags we are done with tag count okay next thing we have to do is okay let me check what all the things are pending okay google chrome open it canva we go to home here we have the model continue to browser okay for so now we are done with this upload and all we will do it later okay now payment gateway and image and video uploading and enrollment serpent okay okay so let's do the comment functionality say post post add comment equal to async under async west response and try catch okay here so no new no new error and pass error here okay create one more this will be delete comment and create one more in a degree Okay, so we have add comment and delete comment now. Const. Let me check the model comment. Copy. Copy. Then we go to any control. This is equal to require. Require. Dot dot slash dot dot slash models. Less Q and A slash Q and A slash Q and A comment. Now go down. So let's create first add comment. So to add the comment, what we need? Post post ID post ID. We need is equal to request to params then const. ID meaning from request to user and validate from ODB ID ID and validate from ODB ID post ID. Okay, this we need to do. So, in try, first of all, what we need to do? Const. Um, Okay. Let me check the model, the model, and say that 
Website model. We have the comment. We need to create the comment. Then here we need to push the ID. Okay, so const const okay, first of all, let's find post okay, find kubeset is equal to now wait this one will be question id not post id so await question dot find by id find by id and update so question id comma what we need to update you through Okay, so here we need to update that which the comments. So comments to the dollar push. So comments inside comment we need to pass the ID. So const const create comment is equal to await any comment dot create request dot body request dot body that means it's stuck to any comment model we need only user and comment okay user we need comment we need so the user we will find from let's say user id we need to pass comment request dot body dot comment we need to pass comment now nah. yeah, fine now inside this create comment dot underscore id we need to pass after that response dot json sorry status 200 dot json let's say status true let us true message comment post it comment post it and then do nothing okay fine by id this is also done now copy the same and move to delete so we need the question id okay we need to validate so from q a comment let's say delete then comment await question dot find by id and delete what we need to delete okay here we need comment id also and pass this comment id here then inside find question control c dollar full comments and pass the ID. So from find question, remove this ID. Well, okay, comment deleted. So this one will be create comment. Okay, sorry, add comment. Add comment, then delete comment. Now move to routes. There is given a routes. Okay. Let's say go to last queue and the router dot post post so post slash post slash comment 
स्लैश कॉमेंट स्लैश क्वेश्चन आई डी सॉरी नोट हियर क्यू यू एस क्वेश्चन आई डी कॉमा और मिडल वेयर वी डेड एंड लेट से एड कॉमेंट कॉपी मैंने राउटर डॉट डिलीट तो स्लैश पोस्ट स्लैश कॉमेंट स्लैश सो क्यूश आई डी क्वेश्चन आई डी कॉमा सॉरी स्लैश कॉमेंट आई डी कॉमेंट आई डी बहुत मिडल वेयर कॉमा डिलीट कॉमेंट क्यू यू एस आई डी कॉमेंट आई डी ए क्यू यू एस आई डी कॉमेंट आई डी फाइन ओपन पोस्टमैन एड आर रिक्वेस्ट क्रिएट कॉमेंट रिक्वेस्ट विल बी पोस्ट बेस यू आर एल प्रिवेंटिंग स्लैस पोस्ट स्लैस कॉमेंट स्लैस ए रिक्वेस्टिंग Do any routes post ID post ID where I have given post ID sorry here this one will be your chain ID okay go to postman send the request commented let's check in DB refresh comments we have the ID. Okay. Then next thing we need to check is delete comment. Let me close all of this. Add a request. Delete comment. So delete this URL. When the okay, where is that comment one? Comment. Yes, we need to pass the comment ID. So this ID we need to pass and send the request. There is no token. Here a token. Send the request. This ID is not valid or not found. Okay, we have question ID and we have this ID. Let me check. Question ID, comment ID. Q U E S. Question ID, comment ID. Q U E S. ID. C O N N E T. Question ID, first one. Pass. Okay. Sorry. It's not. This one is fiction ID. Then we have normal ID. Any date, mobility ID, and pass, comment ID. Okay, so this is the output of copying the form. That's why you guys will get so many errors. Still error. Let me check. Fiction ID in passing. I I need request or user here. Okay. Comment ID. Request to pronounce. What's the problem? Okay. Let's check. ID not valid or not found. Post comment and 
Okay, let's directly pass on post ID is equal to request dot user then pass the ID then let ID is equal to open and carry we will so for take a for loop let index zero index okay here user dot okay, what we need to do is go to user model okay create a field name courses courses field we need to create okay so user dot user dot courses dot length okay till length it will go so ids to only if if user dot courses dot length greater than zero then id is dot push id is dot push user dot courses user dot courses index index dot to string dot to string user dot courses index dot to string we need to convert the id to string then after this for loop response dot json a to think response dot status 200 dot json okay inside this json what we will send status if we have the course in our user dot courses then okay ids dot includes ids dot includes ids dot id id dot includes what course id if it is included then it will return course id true otherwise it will return false and force to await force dot find force dot find by id and pass the force id dot execute okay so this is about check enrollment if user have already added a free course in the or it can be for free or it can be for paid also here we are checking the enrollment only okay so if added then we have to move to the course otherwise we have to show the buy or like free enrollment option now next thing is const const let's say free enrollment free on free enrollment enrollment we are doing now paid enrollment we are doing at the time of ui so async request comma response request comma response it's still not completed there are so many things that we need to handle so that we will do at the time of ui time when we create the ui when we implement the apis now that time we find more functionalities so const course course equal to await course course dot find by 
id let's say request dot params dot course id course id you need to find the course by course id then so if course dot paid course dot paid let me check is that paid okay course password user I think I have not edit. Oh, sorry. It's a user model. Go to course model. Okay, if course dot paid, then we don't have to do anything. Return. Return from here. Otherwise, const. Let's say add. Course to add course to user is equal to await user dot find by id and update so request dot user dot id so with the help of id we need to find and dollar push what we need to push courses inside courses we will push course question mark dot underscore id and new true okay let me check sorry still not like this oh dollar course remove this okay then response dot status 200 dot json status true status true comma message ports added okay course added so check enrollment comma let's say pre enrollment now move to courses there is courses 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 load of the course routes routes course routes Okay, here say what we have to do data post routes. So, ports router dot post it will go to less check less check less enrollment comma fourth middle where we need comma check test enrollment so less we need course id comma let's say check enrollment pop it again then Second thing is, let's say free dash enrollment. Here also we need the course ID. We need the user. So this will be free enrollment. Okay. Free enrollment. Let's move to the postman. Let's close all. Here is the courses model. Okay. Here inside courses model, add a request. Check enrollment. Enroll 
comment request will be post base url course slash check test enrollment slash we need to pass the id of course okay not course okay let me check free enrollment course dot find and okay await user dot find user we need to pass the course id okay go to courses control c pass it send a bearer token send the request status false so this course is not added to the course if we got the status false then we have to show the what we have to show we have to show mm, let's say if the course is free then free enrollment otherwise add to cart we need to show okay this api is working save it add one more request let's say free enrollment okay request will be post copy this go to free enrollment okay authorization bearer token we have the course id go to body what is sorry and the request okay this is not check this is free dash enrollment send the request or set it now do one thing users get all users send the request so if we have one course in our admin role okay so this is how you can create like um, what's we have check enrollment and free enrollment functionality and this is how you can add or delete comment in a particular post now pending things are image uploading using aws and strive functionality is pending okay payment functionality is pending so these things we are going to do at the time of ui or you can say api integration okay okay let's meet in the next video thank you